This room ain't a point of reference for, for nothing. Y'all don't never believe in nothing. <laughs> I make the top of the list at all these little podcast lists we come up with. Y'all don't believe in shit. shit when That's it not true. To me. What you I, mean? I'm, 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 I'm the biggest you know liar. When we say, give me the, the first to last of the pod at this. Yes. And this. No, all be- of the bad ones, I'm right up there at the top. Nigga, when you said who was the liar, I'm number one. That's true. Yeah, them niggas ranked me with him. And I felt the way about that. Yo, do you know how happy I am to be able to see both of you gentlemen? <laughs> without oh, yeah, without no, breaking your neck. Nobody breaking is happier than me doing the Oh, doing that's why he did now. that to you, Ish. Yeah, you put me in the middle. It was actually time. Erickson's idea for you to be in the middle. <laughs> well, damn, I'll be damn. I think Ish it was. Much? Yeah. It was. Yeah. I had to defer to the people with knowledge of where people should be uh, with cameras. It was a hard deferral. And he said, because you get to arguing all the damn time. That's what he that's, said. That's you should true. be in the middle. That's not what he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ah. Stood on his shit, pause. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So that's that's why you're there. Why can't why do guys have a problem with the middle? Niggas don't fuck with the middle. But why? Don't nobody want to ride bitch, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. All right. Where's the bitch jar? Oh, I didn't bring the bitch jar. I bet you didn't. <laughs> I bet you didn't. Keep that $200 I bet you did. There ain't no 200. Not, not no 200. Definitely not no 200. I, I don't know what Joe type of man you're doing. In, in like uh, two doing, different episodes. It's $100 bills in there. He doing a different man. <laughs> I'll bring the bitch jar next episode. I got that thing being pretty high. But anyway, I haven't seen it. you gentlemen in ages. Yeah, yeah, man. man. What's happening? So, Shit looks a little different over here. It do, right? Feel different. Now that vacation looked a little different too. I mean, that's true. I've been on it a couple of nice ones myself, but you know, I never had the water come in the room with me. <laughs> Did <laughs> hey, hey, hey. you, you was walking on the water, Jesus. Oh shit! I know, but I couldn't get it to come in the room. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had it outside. Moses had to get it in the room. If they if they offer that option and it's available. You should go for it. Uh, Some of the rooms do have pools inside. I, I know. <laughs> I just haven't reached that level yet. Mm. You know what I'm saying? See, Ish. I don't even go to that page. Ish, you can't. <laughs> we not in Queens, buddy. Sort lowest to highest. We, hey, hey, yeah, 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 I'm not know. even on that page. We not, we in, not in Queens, buddy. We not buddy. in Queens, buddy. I don't know what that means. Give me, give me nah, Jersey I'm good. Ish. I'm don't good. start your shit. I'm good. Oh, no, they ain't right. Jer- I'm good. Jersey you know? Ish. See, we know Jersey is. I have so much I need to to catch up on gotcha. with you guys. First of all, how was the commute, Parks? Not bad, not bad. How Easy. was how was getting up and leaving the house? Oh, it's fun. <laughs> I'm good. I'd be up early, not early, early, but I'd be up early anyway. Yeah, but you don't leave the house. Parks was the first one here. I didn't have that on the bingo card. Yeah, man. I definitely had you being first. Well, here. I was first, well, of course. Obviously. Don't be silly. I had you here. Y'all don't know me. <laughs> I, was I didn't have Parks first. What? You could walk here. I didn't. <laughs> you don't say, nigga. Uh, and I won't. <laughs> I'm just saying. I could scoot over here, though. Yeah. The, the hell yeah. What's everyone been up to? Come on. Update me. School me on everything that I've missed. I've been working. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I, I put out an album. Yeah. Yeah. I did a show. I did a, a live whoa, whoa, whoa. show. Slow, Slow down, down, buddy. Slow down. You put yeah. out an album. I put out an album. I got it. Come on. I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah, me, David Barr's passport gift, uh, unorthodox, out now. It's my man, David yeah, man. Barr's. Yeah, man. And began gift. And you the executive a, producer? Yeah. And we did a show at uh, Mercury Lounge with Brady Watt. That was dope. And then we did a live stream uh, Got release party. Got him signed to that 1440. <laughs> 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 That's, uh, That's what you're doing? Hey. Nah. Got him on that 1440 nah, deal we, over we there. We split the pie. We split uh, the pie. That's right. Evenly, you know I mean? that's right. Yeah, hell yeah. Well, I, I mean, a pie right. could be split oh, a lot yeah. of different that's ways. Why I say no, even? No, no, even, even. Uh, oh, that's where the real fights start popping up. <laughs> goddamn it! <laughs> <laughs> Evenly. Yeah. Up, 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 up. <laughs> we, we know you, pizza man. <laughs> <laughs> we, know, we know you, buddy. Oh, yeah, y'all make me up. Oh, such a fucking man. Mark. What you been doing? Working. Everybody just been working. All right. I, I, nah, all been, right. Well, I, I also had to set up this shit. So, I mean, that was work That's too. work for him. Yeah. 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 Like, yo, dog. I'm preparing for a move. So, I've been. Huh? Just, you who? Preparing for a move. Luxury uh, condo? What we doing? You good? The man yeah. asked the question. Yeah. Right, look, Balcony? You, you, we cool. Oh, okay. Gym? Yeah. Pool? What I need a gym for? Stainless steel appliances? Yeah, come on, Joe. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Come though. on. Don't bro. do that. Though. <laughs> what? 
Yes, nigga. You got the community room? <laughs> I'm asking if you got a community room. You got the room. fridge with the ice maker now? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ice not having an ice maker would be kind of a travesty. <laughs> that would be fucked up. Oh, that would be ice, real Ice finally up. got an ice maker. All right. I, iceless. That'd be fucked He's up. stepping up. Oh, man. So. Yeah, that's it. How was Greece? Yeah, come on, dog. Yeah, man. Give it up. <laughs> Give it the fuck up. I saw the fits. The fits was, you know what I mean? I didn't, I didn't, you know what I mean? <laughs> I chilled. I chilled out there, man. I don't know. The fits were, were chilling. I chilled. At all. There. I ain't really, you know what I mean? It was the fits light. was fitting. It was light. I kept it Did light. Did you do the photographer there, or no? No. Oh, man. No. No, I didn't do the photographer. Got cheap with it. <laughs> I wouldn't picture that from you. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think about it, honestly. I didn't but y'all had fun, though. Mykonos was fun. I had, a, I had a good time. I had a good time. My first time there. Um, the, the place was nice. What was um, Starlet's in Mykonos like? The food. He ain't you like know, it. He found it. He ain't like it. Did you find it? The food was great. It. Right? The food was great. I probably will not be back to Mykonos. Oh, no, he didn't find it. That's why. I probably will not be back to. Just cross it off your list. Mykonos. Say, I did it. That's it. Everything out there, yeah. Like a bucket list mm-hmm, type of thing. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Everything out there is like 20x the price of what it's supposed to be. That's true. Uh, You've been before us? Yeah. Okay. And you know it. Come on. And then there's a lot of walking involved. Oh, that's good. Because if you're you. trying to get to Mykonos <laughs> Town, where everything is, or if you're trying to go over here, like, there's a lot of walking. Like you too good to walk. This <laughs> <laughs> nigga stupid. Yo, what's wrong? With I, you, I don't know about you, Americans. <laughs> I don't go on vacation to walk. <laughs> what that sounds asinine to me. But I mean, they I was they you. was out there walking though. They could have that. They was walking. All right, cool. And I guess we got to experience the nightlife while we're here. Mm-hmm. So I'll get my ass dressed. Uh. She can't wear heels because of how Mykonos is. It's cobblestone and all Mm -hmm. this shit. You walk in. So now, if you can't, if your girl can't get dressed, then you ain't really about to give it to him because you you got to tone it down a little bit. You got to walk. Yeah. Like, who the fuck is getting in line? Ubers and shit over there. There's no Uber. That's the other thing. Uber need to branch out. (laughs) Uber Uber is damn near every country. It wasn't over there. I'll tell you where they not at. I'll tell you, it wasn't right over there. (laughs) Because I sure pulled my little phone out. (laughs) You, you pay enough sixty and seventy dollar trips to go up the street. No bullshit. Yeah, I almost bought a bicycle, a skateboard, <laughs> <laughs> something out there. <laughs> so then you go to the nightlife, you go to the club, mm-hmm. and it, it's a whole bunch of women look like parts. It wasn't. No, it, it wasn't. Yeah, you know I mean, it wasn't nothing in there. <laughs> He tried to politically correct me. I mean, a whole bunch of parks is in there. I mean, <laughs> so you end up just looking around. You got to buy the table and the, and the, and the bottle mm-hmm. to be comfortable. Got to do the yeah. Real it's estate. like this ain't even the spot where it's like, yo, dog, y'all playing with me now. So y'all playing with me? I now. know you was upset. No, I wasn't upset. You I'm just saying sex I was having out in Mykonos. You still, you still would have liked to see some 180 yeah, on yeah, the, some 185 on the menu. No, yeah, that would have been nice, but no, they're not out there. <laughs> not out there. They That's... almost look down on you if you if you got fat. Almost. Just, I, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> yeah. so, so what y'all saying is I need to go to Mykonos then? Oh yeah, yeah. You? Yeah. Yeah. What? Why? Why? Because they all shaped like parks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> he loved me the most. I'm uncomfortable. And parts. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm uncomfortable. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, nah, no bullshit. They, Clap they, it up for parts. <laughs> <laughs> they all they all a little slim. A little slim. I know that's not his forte. It's my yeah. forte. But I mean, I don't want to paint it like I didn't enjoy myself because I did. Mm-hmm. I had a really good time. Uh that was the longest vacation I ever I ever took. Uh the flight was cool. Like, everything was pretty chill. Actually, the flight be so chill. Them flights is kind of peaceful, man. Them flights is kind of peaceful. How long was it? Seven? Uh, I did. I went to London and then there. So London oh, was, uh, uh, London was. I don't know what, the pilot must have had something to do. We got to London in like <laughs> five, five, and five and five, 45. <laughs> I was like, oh, he must got, I got, uh, he had some words, man. He had some words. Uh, London. He a London got work. Uh, demand them. <laughs> he was Brad, in it, bro. Brad, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. in it. Nah. Yeah, yeah, that's what he was doing. Yeah, yeah he got to London quick, and then it was four hours to uh, 
Oh, Meek, nice. Mykonos. Customs didn't care why you was there. I could have had all the bricks on me. Because <laughs> <laughs> the customs, they just gave me a salute. I almost had to say, yo, could you stamp this? <laughs> hey, I got a passport. Yo, could you hey. check me? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It's that, it's that Go sal- ahead on my birthday pass. No, no it was wealth, everybody yeah, out it's there. It's the wealth pass. Everybody out there was just they walking know, on if by. If you got you come and go here, to Mykonos, yeah. you, you're not on no bullshit. Yeah. Shit. Oh, and see, and this is the oh, other thing. Oh, they must have looked at me like uh, the work, <laughs> the uh, help. <laughs> they didn't do that to me, nigga. Oh, shit. They took you in the room? No, nah, I ain't do all that. But <laughs> they, so, then, so then, right, I'm out there and then my brain gets to going. I want to know why everything is white and grease. <laughs> mm. I think it's the ambiance, yo. <laughs> Ain't no fucking ambiance. They done passed the law. No, nigga. but it, no. you can't paint another color out there. <laughs> but no, no, that's just them spots. Like Santorini, everything is white. Mykonos, it's all every, white. Everything is white. But when you start going to the other shit, it's not all white. Like, because we was uh, we was there for a long time. So it was like three or four different. I, we went to maybe like four different islands. Mm. Greeks is like a 7,000 islands, yeah, mad islands. When you talk that island shit, it hit different in this spot. I see it. <laughs> nah, he going now. No, nah, but all of them not, are not that. <laughs> you think it's shit? It's like, we stayed in Axos for like a week and some change. Mm. Mm. A little Maxos. <laughs> Black Bell Axos. Axos. <laughs> niggas, what <laughs> Yo, these niggas play too much. Maxos. No, I think that's, that's, Point that that's, out on the map. Niggas don't I, know I, I don't sound. know where he went. I ain't never heard <laughs> that's that That's why it sound like Stegman to me. <laughs> <laughs> Maxos. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Yo, what the fuck? Nah, but I think that... I think that just adds to the like photo ops and all the other shit. It lures people in. Sure. Everybody see them white with the blue tops and Santorini. Everybody want to go get some pictures. Sure. And that's what niggas be on. It's also, the gra- it's the also, the the people that have been there before informed me to not wear a bunch of jewelry. I don't wear a bunch of jewelry. I'm not into that. But when you get out there, and if you just really start looking, I ain't see a cop. <laughs> oh shit. Mm. I ain't see a cop the whole time. And I interpret that differently. Mm-hmm. So that tell me that somebody else is running shit over here. Mm, yeah, it makes sense. So, yeah, I could see being careful. And I'm sure later in this podcast, we're going to have an in-depth conversation yeah, about, about uh-huh. that. being careful and just how to move around, mm-hmm. the do's and the don'ts. I never heard that about over there, though. A but again, I went there a long a time ago, so me. shit has drastically changed. The, the popularity. Yeah. That, that, that's what comes with the prices, too. Mm-hmm. The more the Americans start to go places, they have bumped the prices up. Turks is high as shit. It didn't used to be super duper high like that. Like, the more popularity shit get, motherfuckers are going to bump the prices up. Yeah. But I didn't never hear that about Greece. See, and that's the other thing. You leave, from, you leave from the airport. Again, I've come on this podcast and said, said you leave from the airport... On your way to where you're going, you're looking at the town. Mm-hmm. We could barely fit two cars in a row. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, just structurally. And then you get by the water, and now everything is, oh, it's, it's like, all right, come it's on. Mm-hmm. You, you, you you marketed me here. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, so the you town mar- itself wasn't as fly? It was all beautiful because it's beautiful there. Right. It's beautiful there. But dr- drastic difference. There's some country shit. Yeah, like drastic you difference through. from. Got you. Virginia yeah. to get to how, how was the go. food? Uh, A one. Gotcha. A one. The food, food was fresh seafood, all that fresh everything. Yeah, every I could. But I understand now that why they look at us like dirty, <laughs> like <laughs> we eating bullshit. They, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, and that's where my brain went on vacation, like just the different places that have monopolized certain things, right? Like. Like the Japanese steak. Mm -hmm. I'm positive that there's a reason that Japanese steak is Japanese steak. They got Japanese steak. They not shipping none of the good fucking cows over here to us. Mm. That's why your local bodega got steak. Like, how that cow look? It don't seem like nothing out there is tastes like that. Like, you could taste the freshness in the food. Mm. Mm. But I don't know if that's a... um, Dog, you stand at some five-star shit. In Athens, they got regular old nigga beef. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In, in Athens, dog, niggas was sleeping under the bridges with shopping carts and mattresses literally under the... So I just think it's a money thing. No bullshit. I just think it's a money thing. Like, if you go to... And the money thing. If me and you come up with all the good steak, we not giving it to them niggas over there. We don't even fuck with them over there. Shit. 
I'm giving it to the nigga with the biggest bag. Oh, yeah. I'm sure we'll speak about I'm sure. <laughs> that later in this podcast. I'm, I'm sure as we well. will as well. Uh, but I had a good time. I was happy to get back home, see what's going on. <laughs> Man, yeah, some things have changed. True. Oh yeah, we got we got right to it. So, so what do you what do you think? Yeah, how y'all? What feel? do you think? Thoughts? We've been here all week. Thought? Yeah, reaction. I fucking love it. We we seen this. Before. Yeah, we seen it. But I mean, He's so cool all the time. We yeah. saw it before. I saw the shit in. That's why I don't fuck with him. Yeah, but like replay the reaction when you first walked in. You this know what shit mean? is fire. All I week, all, cool all weekend, shit. it shit me. Yo, ass looking over there. <laughs> Joe sent me a God, picture, and exactly. I was like, Yo, all right, I'm excited now. Mm. And that usually don't happen. Like he sent me a picture. I was like, "Oh, this shit looking like something." Man, this shit dope in more ways than one. Yeah. Well, maybe not for you. No, it is. No, he, he's I love cool this. He crazy. No, it might Parks, be dope Parks for him. him. Get, get out of the house. Parks loves it. Edison and you loves can, it. and you can sightsee while you house shop. True. <laughs> True. You know what I mean, yeah, be a resident. I woke home. up with a different little bop this morning. I did. I I woke up with a different little bop. Come come coming right. Yeah, it was fast. Mm-hmm. Fast. It was nice. I ran some errands first. <laughs> Word. When did some other shit. Word. <laughs> Get a blueberry pancake or something without scurrying <laughs> the queens. All right. <laughs> Microphone check. One, two. What is this? I just pressed something. I wasn't supposed to press over here. All right. Um, <laughs> what episode is this? Five what? Sixty-two. This yeah. is my main. Fucking right, buddy. <laughs> uh, welcome to episode five sixty-two of the Joe Budden podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. It's just here. Ice is here. Yeah. Parks is here. Yep. Corey is here. Young boys in the back. I'm sure y'all are there. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And my dad is here. Hey. <laughs> What's happening, Pop? My OG dad is here. Hold on, round of applause for my dad. Yeah. I mean, all the married people be looking to get away from their wife for a little bit. <laughs> That's, <laughs> excuse. That's all I see. All right. How's everybody doing? How are y'all feeling? Y'all look, y'all look awake, refreshed. Everybody look like they supposed good, to look. Yeah, good little vacay, do that, man. Word. We yeah, need to do that more often. Yeah, I agree. Oh, shit, they gonna fuck you up. Say that again. <laughs> it don't gotta be that long. Pause, but <laughs> miss an episode. No, we should definitely do that more often. That was yeah. all right. All right. Yeah. Even yeah. just one little episode. We was we were supposed to come one back that Friday. Was... <laughs> like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you want me to come off the vacay and Dude, go back to work right on a it, Friday? It, yeah, nah. No, sir, Bob. Mm, yeah. Not when that buy you an extra. <laughs> Three days, yeah, yeah, no, not at all. Uh, four, but a lot, yeah, four, really. But a lot has happened. Where would you like to begin? I'm so happy to be able to look at you guys. I'm just happy. Oh, this is great. This is comfortable. It's just you look comfy. Yeah, now nah, I'm I'm very comfortable. Got some headphones now. Always could have had headphones. Yeah, I, well, I'm, I'm I don't so have lost with that. I got my like, own camera now. Shut up. Always had your own camera. Yeah, you've always had your. <laughs> It wasn't that one. Round of applause oh, to the some, camera. Up, hold up. Yeah, Round shit. of applause for the camera upgrades. Erickson, you did your thing with all of this shit. Got some good lights now. You know what I mean? Took the shades off so they could feel them now, eh? Yeah. So they could feel them a little bit. <laughs> yeah, god damn it. Ain't no hating in here. You don't need no hater blockers. Yeah, no, not in here. Uh, not in here. Hate free zone. Oh, you spent some spanky. This shit look like. It's a production yeah, set. Yeah, this is right some high tech shit right here, yo. This no, it's a lot going on. Yeah, yeah, Podcasting yeah. is TV now. Yeah, so yeah. That's, that's the thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. or, you're right. If you look at any top ish podcast, them shits look like TV shows. Damn near. Aside from the live studio audience, maybe. Really? That's the only real difference. And I got to make it tougher for these niggas to copy off me. <laughs> I mean, if we really want to be frank about it, I mean, talk, yeah. not, you talking? Got to make it a you little talking? tougher. These niggas go right to Bob's furniture <laughs> and try to turn some shit up on Joe. They go to and the I, pit. And I don't, yeah, and I don't they like. Go, they yeah, go they go the right pit. to the pit. I don't like that. What's the pit? I don't like that. Them niggas are munch. Chill, man. You you ain't from the, the struggle. Yeah, you, don't you know always have money. You, you all, know you the always have money. Have you don't know the pit. You don't know the pit. Don't worry about it. It's not for you. You'll never need to know the pit. Yeah, you don't need the pit. That's where we go to get the furniture. We who. They, they got a pit at RH. Well, I don't do it no more. <laughs> they got a pit in RH. No. Uh, Safavia. No. 
Our house. What's the South of Via? Are you getting paid, nigga? Shout out to everybody else for cutting motherfucker. <laughs> nah, I was just saying, like, I ain't know about the pit. Uh, my vacation was kind of, my vacation, speaking for me, my vacation was over when Pat Day died. Mm. I don't want to start with death, but that was a quick reminder to get back home. That was a quick reminder that it's everybody's job to try to get back home, like as men. Yes. When you leave your house. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. When you that's leave the house. That's, that's, your, your, that's your goal. Yeah. Get, but get a home. lot of times, because of some other things, we might not keep that at the forefront all the time in our that's decision true. making. That's true. Yeah. You're just moving around, doing what you do. Yeah. Like, and I mean, in thinking about the, the story that came out with Past Day, which is my man, man, I, I shed a thug tear on vacation for him. Um, thinking about it, I, got to, I had to ask myself, yo, am I breaking up a fight if I see it? Is that I'm what not, happened with him? I didn't hear the, the details. details yeah, didn't, didn't hear the the details. details didn't come out. But the story that came out mm-hmm. was that he was trying to break up a fight. I don't know if that's true or not, so don't quote me. Mm-hmm. But I st- that's the thought process when I asked myself. Right. But my answer was no. Oh, no. I, I, y'all know where I stand. I told you before. I'm not breaking up anything. I'm my, my business. I, most I can do is Yeah, but when you smell. hear and you alive, that sound like such a just, it sounds incorrect. No. But if the goal is to get back home. Let me bro. tell you something, bro. Life is too precious to not be selfish about certain shit. And that, that sounds fucked up, but you really got to. That's a good point. It also yeah, depends yeah. on who's fighting. Though. That's a good point. <laughs> depends on who's fighting. If it's your people in if, the fight, then you might try to break it up. Then it can still go left. If that's the case. you know. I mean, but that's a different it. scenario. Yeah. But yeah. No, uh, I, w- I would like to be with people that aren't getting into the fight. True. That's true. True. Level-headed people that can. Talk out of because once the fight starts, the fight starts. Yeah, once yeah. the first punch get thrown, then it's, you just playing by different rules. Yeah. But I would definitely want to be in a spot where it's some dog, and, and I say this all the time, and, and and people be knocking me, calling me bougie. But dog, I don't even really want to go to the places where the probability of fights is close. Same. Mm-hmm. That's why I tell Ice all the time. No, I'm good. Ice will call me. Yo, I'm going to blah blah. I'll be like, you got it. And I'm home, and I feel comfortable when I'm near. Mm. But. These niggas might be having a problem. Mm-hmm. The problem don't even got to start with me or have anything to do with me, but these spots be small. Niggas be shooting. Niggas be... Anything can happen. Yo. Not, I don't not. even want to go nowhere where I got to look... Got my mean mug going. Got to lock my jaw, keep my chin low. I don't want to do none of that. Not, not only that, the, sp- the spots be small and the drinks be Yo, cheap. pause to lock in your jaw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. I can't let it go. <laughs> but the, uh, the drinks be cheap. Like, I always... People laugh when I say it. I'm not going nowhere that say where they advertise, yo, $99 bottles or $100 bottles. <laughs> Fools, I'm not going to so. No, nah, you're right. I was, I'm not so fucking right, yo, I never yeah, heard yeah. that. This fool was like, nah, they got, not, they they got, got $100 much? bottles. $100 I'm good. bottles? I'm not, I don't even be going to buy the bottle, but if that's the price of the bottle... It's about to be a mess. Yeah. I'm cool. Two for one bottles of Henny. <laughs> I, nah, I miss yeah, me yeah, on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all have fun with that. Everybody can ball in here. Yeah, the, the price of admission at the door. Yeah, that yeah. shit matters. You know, it matters. Dress code, even. La- ladies, you know I mean? ladies free till 3 a.m. All right, Joe home till 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> see what y'all trying to do. Ladies free till yeah, I see 3. see in one spot. Everybody free all night. <laughs> no. No, nah, I'm good. I'm cool. But no, that is a really big thing, yo, especially when you start getting older. Yep. Like, even if somebody do some bullshit that you in your 20s or your 30s might have addressed, now your goal is really getting home to your family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, you heard him, you'll just act like you ain't hear him. You know what I'm saying? Like, your goal is getting home. And this nigga that you don't know, 10 minutes from now, is going to be an afterthought. So you got to kind of let that shit rock sometimes. And just with the current climate of shit that's going on, it really does make you... I have questioned my destinations. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I have. I just really, really thought them out. Because it's fucked up. I said I wasn't starting with death. I'm not starting with death. Give me a a happy topic. Want to do Emmys? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot to celebrate. Yo, you're right. It's happy. Is right. there anything else happy? Oh, hold up, God damn it. I'll find us some happy. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there with my damn phone. Yeah. You, you know, my shit is from right there. Right oh, there. bong. Government bullshit. <laughs> yeah, don't start. Please don't start. <laughs> you know, my shit's good. Please, ish. Please you don't start. Got, yo, what they did. <laughs> You okay, no, nah, it's funny shit going on. All right, let's go. Okay. Uh, no, that's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy Dash is funny. Stacy Dash, Dash is very funny. 
can't come back with Stacey Dash. Got to get to the death. <laughs> Got to get to the death. Got to get because the, there's no other way to do it. And there's death in that too. It's definite. Yeah. 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 Death to her well, skin. Yeah. Yo, <laughs> what her skin does? <laughs> Just saying for him. Okay. That was you, you fuck. Stacy Dash. Yeah. New Stacy or old Stacy? Yes. New. new. Yeah, new state. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. I mean, you on some IOU shit, probably. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So she owe you from 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 what she looked like before? So yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, just to do it like some bucket list shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, to be Stacy, then you gotta still, be Stacy now. It's still Stacy. Like, be clear, nigga. That's, that's why I say yeah. That's, that ain't no bad stamp. Why Stacy Dash ain't no DMX dog? Why Stacy Dash? <laughs> Don't do it, yo. What? <laughs> he was getting ready to go. What? <laughs> Did you see the video? I saw a clip of it. You see on skin? Yes. They ain't looking clueless to you. <laughs> she she appeared different. Oh. Uh-huh. People age. They get lighter as they age. Pop, how old are you? Sixty-six. You you got lighter. <laughs> you ain't get that lighter, right? Oh yeah, I mean, fam, Stacy looks like this couch. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? She's bleaching her skin. Well, it's Sa- people bleach their skin. Sammy Sosa did it. He's a cuckoo too, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? Nut so boys. anybody bleach their skin is a cuckoo? I'm asking. We asking yo, I don't want to be. Yo, no, we just, just trying to know. incite. I'm yo, only I'm not letting you do that to me no more, in New Jersey. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting you not do that Jersey. to me in Jersey. Jersey not Jersey. Not with the bullshit. Yeah, I ain't. Wait, gonna, wait. Uh, that was just a Queens thing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. inciting. Yeah, just Joe yeah. inciting. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, prayers to Stacy, man. She look. Come on, man. Come on, let's get right to death, man. Come on. I hate that I have to come right back into to that, but here we are. Here, here we are. Did y'all watch that that video? Absolutely not. I saw, I saw it. And I, I didn't want to see it. I think that's disgusting. B. I think it's disgusting on so many different levels. I think the people that <sighs> fuck. Damn. I don't. Want... It goes back into one a couple of our recent pods mm-hmm. ago. Like, yo, we just as a society, you kind of got to be more um, cognizant about the media that you're pushing. Like, this kid got family. This kid's got a mom. You know what I'm saying? And we'll just throw any shit out there not thinking about who could it affect. You know what I'm saying? And that shit is disgusting and selfish to me. I'm, see, I'm, I'm, I'm even a step before putting it out there. I'm, fuck, like, your mindset to sit there and, oh, shit, let me grab my phone. Pull your phone out. That's the part that That's really well, me up. And to not dial 911 when you grab the phone. Well, yeah. Duh. Like, I want to record this. Like, I, 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 I agree. That's just I, where I we can't are. wrap my brain around that yeah. part. That's a society. Or even opinion. if you were doing that on some Good Samaritan shit to not to post it. I mean, to post it is. That's what like I, I can see. Maybe filming if you, you it, it, the, maybe you thought it could help a situation in some type of way. The problem today is everybody wants to be credited with doing something. So yeah. it's like, oh, I was the one that got that footage. Everybody want to be TMZ. Uh, I, t- I s- talked about it before when they talked about. Um, a dude, he was in the subway and he had fallen onto the tracks mm-hmm. and the train was coming. Motherfuckers pulled their phone out and was literally recording it like just in case he got hit by the train instead of people rushing over. A couple people rushed over to help the guy get up. You know what I'm saying? But motherfuckers pulled their phone out. Instead of going to save him, people pulled their phone out in hopes, I'm assuming, that he gets hit by the train and we got the footage. That's I, crazy I, to me, B. I watched, I watched one of the videos. I'm not sure that we're supposed to be subject to to I don't know if we're supposed to be a witness to these deaths in mass the way we have been in well, the last four years. Just as no, shit fucks it, go just, it, go, it, go, it, go, it goes further than that. So I remember when Band from TV VHS tapes hit, faces of death, all of that. VHS tapes I started hit. it. I, that started it. I remember being in school. <clears throat> going on E-Bombs World and Rotten.com and all these websites looking up uh, autopsy photos and motherfuckers getting their heads blown off with shotguns. Like, we don't even realize that we should not be watching this shit. And this is, I'm I'm talking about, I was in high school. Yeah, but a lot of them names that you're naming were promoted as such. 
Like, you just couldn't go find Faces of Death. You had to go get Faces of Death. Like, you had to know about it. It yeah. wasn't just but nationally promoted. Just all the time. But the the internet, well, the internet there made no the social world media. smaller, but yeah. still, everybody in mm-hmm. in my high school knew about Band from TV and Faces of Death. Yeah. It wasn't everybody. It wasn't that that shit Instagram. hit like the R. Kelly tape. Yeah, right. that's different from right. just going ever... on Twitter as you normally would and seeing a fucking murder. Yeah, that's different than going on about it's the. Not. It is. I, You're I going so. to the website to look at it versus just going on your timeline. But oh, that was beautiful. You're just gonna throw them on me. I just you on bugs, oh, no, yo. You, now y'all gotta it's kill. It's on your leg now. You gotta kill yeah. them. Now. Where's that? That's one of the. That's, bugs the, that's, that's one of the ones you're supposed to. That's you gotta yeah, stop out. It's on your leg right there, buddy. There you go. Step on the parts. Yeah, you gotta go. Sorry. Yo, you missed it though. But no, I just think that if the internet, Twitter. Instagram was available then, mm-hmm. motherfuckers would have went there and found it. Oh, yeah. for sure. That's like, all. It, it got popular. For sure. I think that's some nice. You also shit. ain't turn on Faces of Death and start seeing a bunch of niggas you knew. Or that yeah. looked just like you. Some of that shit was happening in other countries. Uncle, yeah. mm-hmm. And so we dissociate ourselves from that. Like, but no. Or spots that you know. That's what I'm saying. Some shit you've been to, right. and you sat in that booth over there in the corner, yeah. and now... Or an exact experience that you have had. You've walked in those same steps, mm-hmm. like it's just saying. Mm-hmm. And, that, and that's the freaky part about it. But what I'm saying is, watching all of that shit started to desensitize people to it. Well, clearly, because... Because now, and then it led to what we have now. Sure. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the, what I'm saying. The I beginning agree. was there. That was the baby steps. And now we're here because of that shit. So the story that, that was released was, and this is just, it's just like... Some of this shit is even, it's just frightening to even think about. Mm-hmm. You at Roscoe's with your baby mom, mm-hmm. your girlfriend. And someone comes in to rob you and they end up shooting you. Some of the stories that came out say it was a few shots. Like it wasn't just one shot. Everybody's going to LA and Going to Roscoe's. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you went to the wrong Roscoe's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, that wasn't a Roscoe's that I frequent. I ain't never been to that one. I didn't even know that one existed. Yeah. And, and I talked to some people out there, and they was like, I live here, and I've never been there. Like, I don't, all of my L.A. people that I was talking to was literally saying the same thing. Damn, why was he at that one? Like, you know not to go to that one. That's what I was saying in the house. But he's not from there, so he's does he know from, not to he, go there? You know what there. I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I thought he lived out there, though. No, he might he might live so, there now, but maybe still, you still not, don't know. You still that. don't know. Yeah, you're somebody know. somebody got to tell no, you yeah, tell gotcha. you that if you don't know that. And maybe that was close to the airport. Like, could have been anything. You, you yeah, just, yeah, you, yeah, just, yeah. Just, you just don't know. Uh, the next question I want to have this conversation as respectfully as possible, of course. Of course. Uh, my next question that I asked myself was. And, and I answered this for myself a long time ago. Where, when, and where do we need our jewelry on? Yeah. At breakfast. In a strange neighborhood where you ain't got the pool like that. And maybe you do got the pool like that, but still. And I, I'm asking really for enlightenment because that's never been me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm asking the people that are into wearing jewelry, like, is there a time and a place that you say, maybe not? I watch some of these niggas around, and I see they got their they casual, everyday chain versus mm-hmm. their, That's true. this they, chain. The, the big versus watches, mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. All that shit's yeah. watches. All that so shit. so to, to some degree, some people know how to do it. I wouldn't know how to do it. I've like, been in places, you know, I, I, I mean, my shit is simple, but I've seen... Oh, uh, that was, this is killing me. I was at a when I was at Bank Show. But you sound great though. <laughs> look, 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 look good too. Oh, yeah. oh this, this man got a new. Hell, but um, nah. I remember um, <clears throat> certain artists walking in, and that was Sony Hall, <clears throat> and then unzipping jewelry cases and putting their shit on for the stage. Mm. I understand that. Like, you don't have to walk around. I get it. You don't have to walk around. Just with all your shit. Dripped out. Yeah, yeah, dripped out. Dripped out. Now, I don't know 
where they were coming from, where they were going. It, it could, you know, we don't know. We don't know. But we don't know. And I'm trying I want to put all accountability on the killer. Yeah, absolutely. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I, I do want to put that's all because I see a lot of that going on in the internet. I want to put all accountability on the killer because the first part of this is even if all these variables are in play, I don't think in my brain at 12 in the afternoon or 11 in the, or yeah, 12.30 because it was 1.40 or some shit at the mm-hmm. time. So mm-hmm. I don't think at 12.30 in the afternoon while I'm sitting with my uh, girlfriend mm-hmm. in a crowded family eatery mm-hmm. that somebody's coming in to shoot me two times in my chest. Mm-hmm. Over some material. I don't, I don't know how likely I would be in that seat. It's bad, B. Like, <clears throat> we just, Think about that. Nah, we just fucked Somebody up. Somebody ran in there in the daytime. Over, no, this is the crazy Got part. the jewelry, because he didn't have the jewelry on uh, right. in, the, in, the, mm-hmm. in the video. They got the jewelry mm-hmm. and still and did still that. Killed him. That's what I was That's gonna, some of the scariest shit ask, in the universe. Um, I was going to ask, and I didn't know if... It came out. Um, did he did he put up a fight or I don't know? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know because I know he was jewelryless on the videos. He didn't oh, have so any saying. jewelry on, so I don't know if he was non-compliant or any. And I don't want to sound, you know what I mean? Like like that's blaming him. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't. And, yeah, not, and not I don't know. Like, I'm just saying. He's just like, trying to imagine why 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 you why, why you have to shoot. shoot. Yeah. But a lot of times these these niggas are scared with these guns. You blink yeah. wrong and they shooting. That's true. And that's, that's the fucked up part. Like these niggas ain't trained. They not going to the gun range. They don't have no actual training with guns. They, I, and I won't assume him to be non-compliant. And I'm all purely speculative. Yeah, that's what I'm I won't assume him, him to be non-compliant with his girl there. It's a different. It's a different fight. Mm-hmm. It's a totally like, different ball game. If you got the drop, then you got it. And I don't like even if you want- walk up to me at the table, listen. When I when I when Webb was giving me all that jewelry and I wore that chain and ran up there, it was in the afternoon when a nigga stood right up on me, showed me his weapon, so you know take it off. It well, goddamn, if you this if you got this close of a drop, mm-hmm. here you go. Now let me go think of where I went wrong. Wait, why am I, why here, am I here with, with this? this on? Yep. I didn't need that to was... be here with this, right? So it's like, uh, no. Nah. No, I I don't even want to. Um, but again, we oh, touch yeah. on this, but you know, Ack had him on the show a week ago, and he was talking about how he be in spots with his girl, and niggas be wanting to beef, and he said he'll peep the beef before it even starts. Like you know how niggas start. To I saw the clip, and I hate that I saw it. Yeah, and niggas. Start I hate that I saw that pilot, clip, but I hate that I saw that clip. I hate that Ack put that clip out. This was my exact Adam 22 argument yeah. mm-hmm. about sensitivity and just, just you got to be sensitive to certain things, right? If I have this piece of content where he explained exactly what he did. No, well, he explained a week prior to it manifesting itself in real time and in real life. I don't know if I'll push it. Uh, I can't put that out. Yeah. Nah. Because at the end, while alive... He's describing his partner. Mm-hmm. And he's talking about the role that your partner plays mm-hmm. in those instances. Mm-hmm. And and I don't have nothing bad to say about it because as a man, we've all been there where we peeped something and our partner maybe didn't feel it was mm-hmm. that serious. Or I've been with completely dudes. completely oblivious. Fam, yeah. I've been with dudes and they don't peep what's going on. So yes. you know your girl, unless she come from a street situation mm-hmm. and yeah. background, she not going to peep what you see. So he described that in this clip and then a week later, or however many, that not is, very long after, a week they said it had. Well, I don't know because I don't know when they recorded sure, sure, that. Sure, I don't yeah. know nothing. But shortly after, it comes to life that exact shit. Now, the the young lady was there at the table. That is my partner. That is my daughter's dad. I'm traumatized differently already. Mm-hmm. That's true. I posted the picture. The internet is going to fry me. They already Uh, are frying her. Yeah, because of the lack of sensitivity that I speak of. Mm -hmm. But I posted a picture. I I deleted it. The internet is frying me. And now there's a clip that says I was slipping before this. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting that clip out because that young lady's already dealing with enough. Mm -hmm. I don't need to compile on what's going on with her in this moment. 
For what? And I hate the internet blaming her, too. That's the, it's nasty. It's disgusting. It's nasty, it's yo. It's disgusting. It's nasty. You can't, you can't do that. You can't do that. She's just doing she, regular shit. She's going through enough. That, too. She's going through enough. She suffered a loss. Yeah. Right. No, her, de- her kid's father. Because then here come the internet. Oh, I think he, she set him up. Like, yo, dog, sit this one out. Right. You internet detectives, sit this one out. Nah, it's bad. We just, um, and again, we haven't been back since the Adam shit dropped. And them niggas since. crucified us for that Adam shit. Yeah, they did. They did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Them niggas, yeah, I, was on, I was on vacation, so I was just told niggas suck my dick. I don't give a fuck <laughs> what you niggas <laughs> talking about. Nah. If you don't get it, you don't get it. Yeah, know, some I'm, people right. that got it, but you know, some people you know, didn't you know, get you it. Know what I a lot of them didn't get it, no, and no, it no. was an eye-opener for me, but, B. But, but for me, it was a, it was an age thing. No, it wasn't. Oh. No, it was, I, I'm talking about. Yo, I'm, dog, I'm I had speaking a full, for myself. Oh, true. Tell you what gotcha, I saw. My bad. I saw the people that was responding to me. I was a lot of the younger crowd went one way. Yes, mm-hmm. and then true. a lot of older who understand a little bit differently leaned a different way. I was getting people like, "Yo, I'm so glad y'all did that." Thank Word. You. No, no, niggas was like, "Like, yo, dog, I fuck with y'all. I'm so happy." But to Ice's point. It wasn't just an age thing. And this is, it's like, just podcasting for me in general has opened up my eyes to a life I never lived. You get Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, we all got our walk of life. Fam, dog, I had an argument, full-blown argument with a 50-year-old black man. And I'm like, yo, and he was from... In person? No, on... on He was from Milwaukee. And Milwaukee, they go. Like, they... they, Mm -hmm. they, So I'm thinking he would understand my points. He did not understand my point. And so it's your walk of life that determine what side of that fence you're sitting on in that argument. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And so our walk of life, I got friends like close to me. They doing life. Mm-hmm. I've been to more funerals than I could count. Mm-hmm. I've seen more RIP t-shirts than I want to count. Mm-hmm. So my stance on that situation is going to sit totally different than somebody else's stance on that t- particular sure. situation. Sure. Sure. And so even with academics and no shot to academics, academics didn't live a certain lifestyle. And so he may not see what I see. <laughs> Adam 22 didn't live like I live. So he didn't see what I see. So that was um, educational for me. Yeah. To see the responses from black people crucifying us for trying to stop the shit with us. The bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Like, yo, they was killing. When I say killing us, bro, like killing us. Yeah. And, I, and I it, saw it. it really <laughs> fucked me up. I would be spooked having that footage in that interview. Yeah. Word. Like, I get I get spooked out. Gillian them posted a, a clip of uh, Vaughn and PNB. Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting there glued to the clip, like, oh shit, was these guys there? They were there together? Like, what the fuck? I'm trying to match outfits. I'm like, yo, dog, it's too many, it's too many men that are not going back home to their kids. That's my first thing. Because I'd be with my kid. He, yep. And 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 dog, the way that your kid just loves a dad. Come on now. Like, I don't have the words to explain it, mm-hmm. but it's beautiful. It's mm-hmm, something mm-hmm. to cherish. I was laughing the whole week and just touched his little hand, your little tiny hand. Mm-hmm. Give me, I'd be rubbing all over the skin. Look, <laughs> this is my skin. I fucking, yeah, man. Pat, they had two daughters, I think. Mm-hmm. PNB, two daughters. It's crazy. That, that'd be the part of it outside of the, the, the horror of having to witness some of this shit. Yeah. And the nastiness that just goes into what's going on, you know, what's going on in the streets is a reflection of where where we are. It's I society. always see it that way. Society. So it's that's like true. if that's going on out there, it's like dog. No, oh. no, it's bad. Rest in peace no, to PMB. Terrible. Thirty years old. 30. Then you get to that. Thirty years 30. old, yeah. baby. Thirty goes like this. No, nigga, you remember thirty years when you was thirty. Yes. Like you thought you was grown at 30 till you are <laughs> age. You're like, yo, I was dumb as hell. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because even that was a part of the other shit too. Yo, these grown ass men. That, nigga, when I was 28, I was a fucking dodo. And I yeah. thought I was bright and sharp <laughs> for 28. Now you like, yo, you was dumb as hell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Whole 20s. And shit, half of the 30s for me. Or like you like, yo, I'm st- I was stupid as hell. Mm-hmm. Decision making, mm-hmm. your judgment, all of that shit was off. Yeah. Chasing yo, your was- dick. <laughs> That part, and when it get when it get too hot somewhere, I stay away altogether. Like, 
when if LA is LA, LA is on fire. Mm -hmm. Fam, they have the police chief saying, "Hey, stop coming here. We cannot protect y'all." He did. He said that months ago. We can't LA people that I'm talking about like high ranking gang affiliated people in LA are saying, "Dog, stop coming here." Remember, yeah. I told you I was I was going to go to LA to um, yeah, do some work. I was, I'm not going out there. Never mind. No, nope. but sorry. It's everywhere though, yo. It is. It's getting worse, nigga. People are getting robbed broad day in New York City. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, the news is worse. Than worse. That hasn't happened in a while. Mm -hmm. Like to where New York was just unsafe. Yeah, yeah. Like Manhattan. Pardon. Right, Let right. me take that back. I'm yeah. talking about Manhattan. Yeah. My fuck is just getting robbed on the Upper East Side on camera. That's new. <laughs> For y'all that don't know what that is, that's new. That wasn't happening, fam. Like Upper East Side is when like that start. When do you think that started? Because that is new. COVID. Even, no, even that's, the, COVID. that's the thing. I ain't gonna hold you. COVID. Fashion week was last week, mm. or it might still be. It's still, I think it's still happening. happening. Yeah. This might still it's, be happening. But I took my dodo head out, dodo head ass out over the weekend to ladies in town to go over there to you know one of them little shishi fufu parties. Uh, <laughs> but I Ubered. I wanted to give So some time to just rest, and mm -hmm. he could pick me up. So I Ubered, and I popped flying the Ubers. Like yo, when it looked like the, it was close to the little dot. So, yo, let me out right here, just light, dog. And I got out, but it wasn't the closest to the dot. <laughs> and you had to walk. Had to so I had to walk, and it was on Broadway. And I had to walk down the Broadway and then bust a right and walk a few more blocks. That's probably the most walking I've done with a couple dollars. <laughs> Either that or Manhattan looked real different this night because everybody was out in bunches. Mm -hmm. Cops were out. Beat on the beat, sporadic, and niggas was posted up at fire hydrants and corners and train and stations. Yeah, that's regular. My my spidey, no, no, it wasn't. Mm -mm. Well, no, it's more, it not, it's more, not it's, at that time. It's regular for Fashion Week, is what I'm saying. For people to oh. be out and about hanging around. No, but the post ups. It don't yeah. be the normal people. Like you see a group of seven girls. Like, oh, all right, it's cool. See, you think fashion, sex in the city? You think Fashion Week? Mm -hmm. I think or normal for Fashion Week. I think what that attracts right oh, now. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Mm -hmm. And the people that were outside stationary... Mm -hmm. That's what I'm looking were at. ...were there for a reason, stationary. Absolutely. And you still have the right to wear masks. The masks is playing a huge part in this. For sure. The ma true. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's late night, I got a mask on. You thinking your odds and probability of not getting caught are way higher. Mm -hmm. yeah, and they, yeah. they are. Yeah. Yo, jokers are getting robbed at all the fly restaurants. Mm -hmm. They getting you. Yep. Niggas in there with they. Especially yeah. you sitting on the sidewalk or all in the little that, huts. Bro. Yeah. Atlanta. Yeah, they from what right I'm hearing. You. Atlanta, yeah. LA, and New York are on fire. Mm -hmm. Just and have been for the last two years since COVID. Mm -hmm. but then that's the other thing because I saw a few New Yorkers express this sentiment that's dangerous, so I don't want to spread it, so I won't. But it put the thought in my head, like, yo, god damn, damn if y'all just gonna, if y'all in LA just keep killing all of the New York rappers, what's gonna happen when New York get mad? So, somebody well, posted that. that, that somebody saw, posted I saw it. it. I saw it too. I saw it. Yeah, it wasn't a good that, thought, but. I don't like that thought either. I don't like that. It was like a that. horrible thought from the post, but the post reflected that. Like, let's start getting even. Yeah, no, I don't know. I think that was terrible. No, we That was terrible, but. Bro, they black men. I don't give a fuck where they from. I don't care if they from L.A. They could be from Toronto. They could be from Mississippi. They black young men getting killed that potentially could go on to greatness. Like, bro, these are stars mm -hmm. as 30-year-old, 20-something-year-old stars in the making. Mm -hmm. Dog, we don't know what uh, uh, Pop Smoke could have potentially achieved. He, he could have went on to be. He was doing a lot yeah, while he was like, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't know, yeah, yo. Yeah. This boy's in the early 20s. I don't give a fuck hits, where they you from. Know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even care about the hits. Yo, these are businessmen in the making mm -hmm. that could potentially it. change society for black people. Nobody right. thought in 1996 Jay-Z would be Jay-Z. He was a young 20-something-year-old kid from Brooklyn. That nigga's going on to do great things. We don't know what Jay-Z could accomplish by the time he's 75. God willing, he gets to be 75 years old. And that'd be the thought, that my first thought, when, they, that when Triple X left, that was my thought. Because he had already, I was sold on him already. Yeah. Juice World. Yeah. Like, the kids are getting younger and younger and younger. Mm -hmm. But even in, in, their, in their 
youth, they are getting blessed with information that we didn't have at 20. You get what I'm saying? Like, at 20, 20-something 20 years old, Pop they didn't know nothing about no fucking start an LLC and go get some corporate credit and now I could do... These kids at 20-something years old, they learning this shit. Yeah, they know that. No, Pop was with Stephen Victor. No, he knew something about something. <laughs> True though. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, if you don't dog. know it, go get you with somebody to know it. Yo, gonna, no, I'm just saying, you. like, dog. This well, shit, talking about I'm talking about your about father. Pop. Oh, dad. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, what I'm talking about. My fucking dad is here. Yeah, like, Pop didn't know at 20-something years old all of these potential things because the information was being hidden from them. Mm-hmm. These kids are getting privy to that information. So again, sky's the limit. It's exponential growth for them. They might be rapping now at 25. These motherfuckers could be owning conglomerates by the time they're 50. That's yeah. true. Two sides of the coin for me. Boy, I was thrilled to see all the love that PNB Rock got. And is 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 it's still getting. getting. Mm-hmm. Still is getting. getting. I love seeing all the pictures with him, all of the communication. That's great. I was a little angry that of, of how fast the Pat stay went by. I felt like I needed to rush back because I didn't see enough talk about that. I didn't. The battle rap community stood up and it got quiet. But then it got quiet. Almost like one of the greatest battle rappers ever didn't die in Nova Scotia. Maybe because it was over there. Nah, it's Canada, one. Well, well two, the battle rap, is a couple, the it's, battle it's, rap community isn't as fuck. big. I'm with you, though. I don't I get give what you're a saying. fuck. I'm just... I don't care. Sorry. I could be totally off. I don't care. I was mad. I wanted to rush back to a microphone. I felt like somebody with a voice needed to say just how great and amazing Pat Stay was at what he did. I didn't see enough about it. It was too much character. He was too charming. He was too brilliant up there. He put too much thought into his art. It showed in all of the performances. He paved the way for a lot of these niggas. He did it in this league. He did it in that league. He did it as a white boy from over there. Yeah. Over here. I I didn't like it. So that's what I mean about flip side of the coin. I feel what you're saying. Gotcha. Rest in peace, Pat Stay. All this shit is just terrible, B. It's and then Queen terrible. Elizabeth. We tossed that one at y'all. Can I catch it and toss it back? Two, two of me. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, dro- I dropped it. Your father's here, my nigga. <laughs> so I'm telling you. I'm gonna tell you right now, your father's here, B. I don't know if you want to do the Queen Elizabeth kicking it with your father sitting right there, B. I'm not. I'm just saying rest in peace. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's all I got to I'm say. I'm just saying rest cool, in cool, peace. Cool. I ain't got nothing to say. That's rest it. in peace. I don't know. <laughs> it's ready to go off. <laughs> nah, I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm, good, I'm good, B. I'm good. I'm good. Um, all right. What else we got? Any more on death? Let me find out, Stanley. Ramsey Lewis passed away. A uh, uh, jazz pianist sampled by a million people in hip hop. He was 87, I think. Rest in peace, Ramsey Lewis. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Ramsey. 87. And thank you for your contributions. 87. That's what you want. 87. Grandkids. Mm-hmm. All of that. Mm-hmm. Not 27. Mm. Sickness. Got it? No. This is a, print, a print. production. I know, production? I know, I you got it. Oh, what, what I'm doing? Finally. Look, I'm finally. Hey, yo, dog. Finally. Like, he, knew he was yeah. about to say Don't something. Don't ask like, me fam. about what I got. Y'all nah, just continue heard, to produce. I heard a note. Don't you know worry. No, no, don't hear nothing. I ain't know if you was, you know. It's, it's showtime, at all, showtime at all times now. You might not be him. I don't know, mm-hmm. man. All right. People keep telling me that they're waiting for me to come back and talk about all the rap girls beefing. And <laughs> that's your bag. I didn't know. Yo, don't do that, yo. Don't do that. I mean, that is not my bit. bag. That's not my bag. That's your bag. That is yo. not my bag. Girls, messy shit. That's your bag. That's your bag. That's why. The, why you think everybody was saying they waiting for? I'd be talk insulted about at, the, at some of the things. That, good thing I don't know what people think about me, man. <laughs> that's what they think. Word. That's my bag. That the messy ba- girl the shit. Messy girl. You shit. said it, my nigga. You did. You, you was love in, that you shit, was, bro. You was in character, but you said it. I do like that shit. No, I do like it. I do like it. But I don't know if I want to like it publicly. Like, I want that to just be the thing that I'd be in my room like with my legs in there. Like, <laughs> look what she said. Uh, but no, I, f- funny funny enough though, y'all saying that, when they told me the rap girls are beefing, I have no idea what they're talking about. I just I've been on vacation. Morning, I've been running around. New strip clubs open in New York. I ain't been... Refurbished. I ain't been... You know what I mean... 
But I looked around a little bit. It was easy to spot. <laughs> but it's all, all of them beefing. It's like Royal Rumble. Oh, uh, for real? Oh, word? Yeah, but everybody just everybody just waiting around for somebody to put a put a name on that bullet. Oh, yeah, throw that. Yeah, if it ain't directly directed at me, I don't respect it. That's what they all waiting for. And fuck y'all. Because last time I got into it, into this girly rap mess, uh, mess, all the rap, uh, girl rappers said, stay out of women's business. You causing feuds between women. Oh, yeah, they love to say that. You sniffing for something that's not there, right? That's what they said. Uh, so now I went, know what I did? I went and pieced it up with all the girl rappers. I'm fly with all of them. <laughs> so you out of it. You chilling. I got 99. He got 99 <laughs> problems and the biggest one is me. <laughs> he got all the little bitches, but the biggest one is me. Huh? Yeah, no. What the fuck is you talking about? Nikki, Cardi, Lotto, who else? Rhapsody, Flo Millie. Wait, wait, wait. wait Not wait, the wait, younger wait, ones. Wait, wait, wait. Talk about, I'm, wait, huh? Who's beefing with Rhapsody and... and Nobody. And, oh. I'm just, I'm just oh, naming oh, okay. the girl rapper. Like, gotcha, I'm, gotcha. I'm cool with all of them. The ones I'm not cool with, I ain't looking to be cool with. So... I ain't getting involved in that. You still like the mess, though. I'm not. No. Who's he talking? To? I don't like it between people I know. Between people I know and and root for. I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. You don't want to see that. So piece it up, then. Yeah. Yo, you gonna start being an olive branch of hip hop? No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> leaving hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm exiting this shit. We said, yeah, I'm in the fuck out of here. They can have this. You can still be the olive branch. Nah. 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 Oh, okay. Olive Branch, Olive Garden. <laughs> I, won't Come be, on, I, man. I won't be Olive nothing, huh? Oh, man. Stop, don't do that again. Let, let, just move on. We ain't going to diss Olive Garden no more, man. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why would we not? Is the breadsticks for you? I can't stand y'all, man. <laughs> go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead with what? All right, so I'm staying out of girly rap beef. Let me just make sure I am. Yeah, I am. I don't think you are. Cool. I hear you. I ain't get involved in that. All right, what else? Maybe is... not that one, but. You being some girly mess. I finished shit. Ozark. Oh shit! I don't even. Do we clap? No. Nah, nah. I finished that. Ozark. Thoughts? Come on. You could have waited. The fuck was that bullshit? I, I told you that was the biggest crock of bullshit. I told you what type of cockamini fuck I like horrible that shit. ending was <laughs> that? Was terrible. I like that, that shit. shit. Was the worst ending. Uh, you liked it too. Right? I ain't. I yo, thought, I thought it was the, realistic. All of the good shows though. Old man's ending. <laughs> Hated it. <laughs> that was some bullshit. Ozark, terrible. It's a fucking mess. Terrible. I just um, I just started and finished uh, Better Call Saul. Oh, I got it. The, the new the new season. The final season. Up. No, it's out. Oh, it's out. I know it's it's aired, it aired but it's yeah. not up on any legal platform anyway. Oh, okay. yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah, I'm I got you. I mean. But great ending. Yeah. Holy shit! I, I wanted to get your um, yeah, take on. The ending of Ozark. Ozark was too great of a show to end like that. Like it just seemed like episodes ten to fourteen, eleven to fourteen should have been a bit more climactic than it, it, it was. They pretty much wrapped everybody up within the blink of an eye. All right, you got to be for Harvey. Yeah, let's kill him. Bong. All right, you. Hey, this nigga's son. All right, let's uh, kill him. I didn't even like how Roof died. Like it wasn't. I didn't like the fact that Roof died. Not how she died. Wendy was supposed to get at least shot or something. Something, so, something should have happened. She didn't even get stole on. You know, her, <laughs> but that's yeah, what you're talking about. Nah. That's why I like about it. It's realistic. That's no, not it realistic. No, it wasn't realistic. Part. Shit, that's realistic. It's very realistic. realistic. Look, you know I love you, right? Yeah. The rich, the rich white people are going to get away with the shit. The poor trampled no, up people are going to continue to get poor true. and trampled on. That's not true, yo, dog. That's usually the how it goes. fucking rich people <laughs> sitting over there chilling with the cartel niggas, that making nigga, all of these that, bum ass. transferred his white privilege to Jersey. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's so, I'm yo, just telling dog. you how it usually goes. <laughs> that's some bullshit, fam. That was bullshit. Well, that part is bullshit. I didn't root for that to happen. It's yeah. just realistic. Yeah, these to me. these I'm fucking that, white people in the middle of nowhere sold all these drugs, did all this crime. The nigga was in a dungeon Everybody, in Mexico with the cartel niggas. He gets out and makes it home without a broken leg, without a broken yo, nose, nothing. All the bodies, they, they were found out about and still nothing. Come on, yo. Nothing happened. Zero. To both of them. Politi nobody. Politics. Or the kids. The ki They're politicians. Nobody. White politics. They're po yeah, white Nothing politicians. Nothing happened to anybody. It's white politics, man. Ozark was too great of a show man, for that. For that. Was, you see Con Hunter Biden's laptop? White politics, man. Man, that shit yeah, was yeah, constant. Yeah. Hunter Biden's laptop. What was on Hunter Biden's laptop? Crack. 
A little crack. <laughs> a little holes. Mostly crack. Some holes and some crack. <laughs> you know what I mean? Stupid ass Ozark. Yeah, that shit was trash. I, I was you. I could have waited a whole nother year. I told you that shit was caca. That kind of fucked my flight up a little the bit. Most solid, <laughs> most solid person on the show dies at the end. That's how it goes in life, yeah. bro. Yeah. It's yeah. the sad part. That's, okay. right. So I agree with you. Like I would like to see Ruth go on to be the boss and all that shit, but the and reality of what happens in the world is that. Is that. And she just inherited mad bread. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's... That's kind of high. Wendy goes. was supposed to get her ass pop. I, I agree. Nobody would have cared about or all the right, son. All right, ish. You saying Wendy's supposed to get popped? I gotta know what you mean by that. <laughs> <laughs> that could go either no, way. No, no, no. No, he know the bad pop. <laughs> <laughs> the bad pop. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, still clarity is <laughs> needed. The son. The oh, son yeah, ain't even yeah, get punched yeah. oh, yeah, in the face. See. Come on, dog. See, I'm, I'm, I'm. Sh- that, ha- that needed to happen a couple of seasons. I'm, I'm, I'm all the way there with oh, you. Oh, okay. They let yeah. me down. They let me down. That shit was trash. God, I want to give a shout to... Uh, I'm hoping that... Uh, on My bad. I'm hope, I'm start, I am started uh, five days at Memorial. I want to watch that. I heard that's Plus. good. Oh, I Apple. heard that's good. Yeah, I and watch I'm that. hoping that the same don't happen there. Where they just... They kind of shit on the Apple Plus shows on the Emmys. Severance should have won something. Severance didn't win anything? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't oh, think they shit. won a single thing. It was nominated a lot, right? It was nominated yeah. a lot, but it didn't win a single thing. I didn't finish Severance, please. Fantastic show. Everyone tells me. Yeah. What about the other one? Please don't tell me anymore. Oh, you finished Blackbird, though. You right? finished Blackbird, right? That was another one that ended on some flunky bullshit, right? No. No. Did I like Blackbird's ending? I don't see how you I don't think it. I like Blackbird's ending. Oh, wait, wait. I did not so, like Blackbird's no, ending. No, we didn't. No, that did end some bullshit. I did not like Blackbird's ending. I'm uh, telling you, the good yeah, shows that yeah, I've been that watching, ended on they the, haven't oh been ending the way they're supposed to end for me. That's, that's all. Old man. But, but old man was horrible. That's the one that. No, old that, man was horrible. That was just a I'm with complete. You on that. I forgot Blackbird's ending there. I got to. I got to mix up. With old old man. man did not seem like it was supposed to be ended there, and I don't think it was. Uh, what's the name? Got cancer in it, so I think they've had to film uh, it, like, kind of piece it together. So I don't know if, know if I put the blame on them for that, but it was still some bullshit though. They could have at least. I watched some shit over the weekend called Fall. Two white girls. I saw Fall, I think. You saw it? Is that the one where they're like in a tower or something like that? That looked like some (laughs) bullshit. (laughs) Hey, yo. White people just do shit, man. 2,000 foot radio tower. She says, yo, let's go climb it. Oh, you watched that movie? Oh, I I never saw it. I never saw it. She's like, let's go climb it. So she convinced her homegirl to go climb it. And then they get up there to all the way to the top. And of the, the bolts shit. start coming and out. And the, the shit, thing. the ladder shit broke. And it was stranded up there. And they oh, deserved it. That <laughs> no, that sounds good now. No, that sounds terrible. No, nah, I, I want to see it's, white it's girls that, be stuck. It's that. I ain't going to hold you. I, ho- I wish they would have made terrible. Aegis Elba a white dude in Beast. Because that shit was the dumbest. I tried telling y'all about <laughs> oh, that. I can't believe you watched that. <laughs> the trailer was enough for me. Yo, fam, I wish he would have been white. So I could have came in here and cracked on him. He acted like a total the family acted white. <laughs> shit was disgusting in Beast, yo. That's the other thing I learned about myself. In Jersey, I don't really shit on the white people that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I... That's that's some queen shit. Over here. It's a little I'm, different over here. Yeah, that a, might, a, a, story, a story of you be a little uh, over here. I'm yo, not, that's gay. Beast, <laughs> people's... Beast was terrible. You want to see it in the theater? No. I spent $19 in my house. I, they owe me a refund. That shit was disgusting. All right, come on. There's too much funny yeah, shit yeah, yeah. going on to stay on on. Beast. We off TV and shit. Come on. Uh, I like the Ice Spice topic about her dead, how her dead in the old promoters. What's, who, I do. Uh, this is Ice Spice, right? No. Uh, no, he could never. Uh, never. He could, that's, that's the fake no, ice now. No. Uh, I lost that. that that's the Munch girl? Ice Spice is here, the Munch girl. Yeah, that's the Munch girl. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? That nigga's a munch. Nigga's a eater. He eat it for lunch. <laughs> you, 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 you said that a little too spicy. <laughs> I like that song. I, I, we know. I, and I like her. Okay. The, yeah, song, no. the song is all right. <laughs> it's, it's, that song is better than I right. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? <laughs> and they say that that's about a rapper too. <laughs> She's killing niggas. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Ice Spice... Who I had no idea who she was just a few weeks ago. We went on vacation and she's the hottest thing smoking. You know what's funny? Uh, Look how quick. fast that happens. What, what? I had I had a, I had I had her probably 
five, six months ago I was gonna play as a sleeper, but I'm like, nah, because you're I, scared. Yeah, yep. no, no. just put Solanimous ass nigga. You're scared. Didn't know why? Play it. Know why? Because I was like, the second that <laughs> y'all niggas here, I was like, I'm not doing that. The second why? the name pop up, why? And nah, I'm cool. I left it. He alone. had it a I long had, time I ago. Had it. I, had it. I was just like, nah, let it go. But anyway, so she's. Out of here, out of here, right? The song is out of here, at least. So all of the bookings that she had before, which were five thousand dollar bookings, they're no longer accepting, and they're refunding money. She was getting five thousand before the hit. Maybe early stages of the hit. Gotcha. I'm thinking. Gotcha. Early stages of the hit, you start at five grand, and then when the hit pops off, we up it. And so today's price is not today's price. Yeah. So everybody keep running saying it. So she's at fifteen thousand a day, and she's refunding all that money. Now, if you're in the music business. Nothing about this sounds unfamiliar, but when the internet gets involved, it's a thing. Mm-hmm. So they're killing her for saying, oh, that's how you bad red ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's a quick you better remember when you came first. Yeah, you just got here. Ain't nobody paying 15000 to hear that's one song yes, three times. But yes, if they no, are. No, no, but they are, though. <laughs> yes, they are. No, they are. That's the part the internet miss. If she's doing that, then somebody paying. They're paying. Yeah. They're paying. That means that the phone is ringing more now for the new price. Dog, mm-hmm. she she got a whole little rollout. The word munch about to start taking off nationwide. <laughs> like, dog, she got a gimmick. You a munch, nigga. You out your munching mind. <laughs> <laughs> you out your munching mind. You are a munch. You crunch your munch ass. Nigga. You are a munch. <laughs> You out your mind. You a munch, yo, it's, it's take, okay, a, it's take offense to the I'm, tiniest I'm of laughing. things, yo. I'm, I'm right, if you a offense. munch, be a munch. You don't think no girl in the world has looked at you like a munch? Gotta be more specific. A, a munch. <laughs> you know what a munch is? A nigga right? that's gonna come over and eat this thing for lunch and, no. and then take his head ass on out no, the house. No girl has looked at me as a munch. So you've never only munched? I've probably munched before. Everybody, come on, Ed, stop. <laughs> Put your pride and ego to the side. Everybody has munched before. Hey, yo, y'all niggas just want me to be in the goof bag with y'all. I don't belong in there. I'm not going to no girl house eating her box and getting in the car and leaving. No, nigga, no. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> no. Yo, fix your shoulders, nigga. <laughs> fix your shoulders talking to me. You know what I mean? Like, no, nigga. I've gone to the club. You bless your girl and you leave. You ain't, never, not... you ain't never, uh munching like the girl's bathroom or something where like some place you wasn't supposed to be in the... In Why the... you looking at me? I did it. <laughs> in the truck. I, I was looking to see yeah, if y'all was car, car, in, the, in the club. Yeah, Fuck all it, okay. Oh, In the palace. Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> That's the shit. Hop in, <laughs> hop in the car and then munch on the way to where you got to go. That's why they treat you. I never had a driver. That's why they treat what? I never That's had why a, they treat. I no, I, I'm more interested in that earlier <laughs> sentence now. That, I'm more that, interested in that first sentence that was coming out. That's why they treat us how they treat us. Because y'all niggas around here being munch of rules. I'm good, dog. Oh, this nigga, <laughs> this nigga is, ugh. <laughs> you, really, you really super nigga, yeah, yo. Yeah. I'm not none of that. No, you really he pissed me off with nigga, that yo. shit, yo. He pissed me off with that. It's cool, though. Yo, dog, so let me ask you. Let me ask you. Yes. A girl has called your house and said, yo, I want to see you. Come through here, eat this thing, and now you got to leave? Oh, no, hell she no. She got to talk to me. It's no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pardon, yeah, I'm not pardon to be me. That. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm not to be dictated to that way. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> That's not how it goes. No, no, no. All right, well. Yo, tell Ice and Ish that we went out the other night with Simba. Oh, we went out with, with your new best friend Simba. Sniz nigga here. Simba the rapper? Simba the rapper. Yeah. Oh, man. Shout out to Simba. Shout out to Simba. Shout Simba. Simba. But we went out and Simba loves Ish. Sim- like. Simba's from the Bay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the Bay. Y'all know that the Bay is heavy on pimp culture. <laughs> Simba looks at Joe like, not a pimp, but a simp. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> That's what he was expressing. <laughs> and Simba and Ish was over there c- cackling in the corner. He can't have a little man meeting in the corner. To, mm. to one of them little... Uh... And laughing at me because I'm throwing money in the strip club. Like, Simba was amazed, Fair. blown away. He so threw said, money in the strip club? Yeah. What you supposed to do in the strip club? He said, dog, I, I, I don't understand. The girl is only making her butt move in a circle and she's getting free thousands. <laughs> <laughs> The girl was just sitting there going like this. He said, yo, she's not even doing nothing. Her butt just in a circle. She's getting free money? Oh, no, that we, this can't happen. It's gratuity. In the bay. This can't happen in the Bay. I was dying just being laughing. gracious. You're just being gracious. I guess. Hey. I, I'm with Sim- you. Simba didn't understand all the things that was going on that night. And Joe tried to give him a hip-hop OG lesson in networking. Nah, because see, if, if it's pimp culture like he's familiar with, then you would have thought... I- 
I told Simba before <laughs> we went in chicks there. Over here. Listen, you're gonna see you're gonna see how they treat you, how they treat me. You're gonna see that. It took about 20 minutes before he realized that he was thirsty. <laughs> oh man, that second drink wasn't coming over in a timely fashion. Uh, I bet not. I bet not. <laughs> He's sitting there wondering why. <laughs> Playing your pimp hand a little too strong there, my friend. <laughs> Get your pimp cup. You want to drink something? Yeah, yeah go ahead, go ahead and play. Nah, it was it was funny. It was it was a nice little little night. It was that funny. was a good night. Hilarious night. That was shout good. out to Simba. Oh, let, me, let me just check. Shout out to Simba. Let me just check I gotta stop. See I gotta stop. Ring. If I got a missed call from either of you gentlemen. Check with that. See how they do? I ain't call you niggas. That's kind of fucked up. At least you were honest. No, this one right here be like, oh, no, no, he had, no, no. He had his daughter. I don't even know what. <laughs> I spoke to you. That's his little line. You had your daughter. Yeah, I yeah. spoke he always to do that. Nigga. He do that. I spoke to him. He had his daughter. Oh, okay. And I got there mad late. I got no kids. <laughs> <laughs> you don't live in Jersey. I do now. We was in Queens. <laughs> <laughs> no, we wasn't. We started the evening yeah. in Jersey. And, and then, then we went to and Queens. ended up in Queens. We didn't plan on going to Queens. That wasn't part of it. Who didn't? End it. Who, <laughs> didn't, who, who didn't plan on going to Queens? Well, pardon me. You better speak for your goddamn self. Trick Mo here. He definitely <laughs> going. You know he going to Queens. Come on. Luka, Don, Luka Doncic okay. is trying to get the rights to his trademark back from his mom, who has had it since 2018. And when, won't sell when, it. When, she, <laughs> Mom's when awesome. she realized he was going to be a star. <laughs> nah, that's that's kind of yeah, gangster. I'm, that's well, gangster. I'm not yeah. mad at the mom. I'm not yeah, mad at the mom. Hell no. Get it back in blood. <laughs> it's mine. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, why? Because she named him? <laughs> what the fuck did you tell I bought you. I, I bought you. What? Not only did I raise you. All right. And some of this is comedic. Right? Yeah. I'm joking. But still, because they got a band. Of course, Joe. <laughs> Yo, are you fighting to get your name and likeness back from your mother? Yeah, she created your name and likeness. Got to be quicker than she that. Did. She did. She did create the name. She owns it. She went through the proper proceeding to own it when you were sleeping. She owns his she elbows. All that. She made That's that crazy. shit. You yeah. was in the room talking about. All right, mom, going to see this such and such agent, and she was like, "All right, yeah, you do that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, nigga." That's nah. So what? What? What do y'all think? I think I thought that was a hilarious story. I thought it was hilarious when I saw it. On I think feet. it's funny that the lengths that people will go to. Yo, the news feed was so funny until people started Start dying. dying. Word. Yeah. Yo, that's true. the shit that's written down here, y'all wanted me to come back and start talking about Uzi's new haircut? There's a bunch of bullshit <laughs> written down here that's going on. Yo. Fucking dude, baby mom went crazy on him. I'm yes. not even talking no, about no, that. No, no, nope. Nope. Nah. Nope. 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 Leave it up. It don't, it don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It don't matter. Don't just leave it, it alone. Leave I'm it just it saying, alone. I wasn't in a rush to talk about some of that. The news cycle's been funny. It's been funny. He's still trying to figure it out. Yeah, just leave it alone. Don't worry about the it. The Stacey Dash shit was the funniest shit I've seen in a while. Rotimi and the Falcons. Come on. Yo, man. Come on. Yo, man. Hilarious. Because let me give it to you. I'm a Rotimi fan. Same. Same. Fuck with him. Like, but, his but, music. But why? I'm saying his music. No, no, me too. I'm a fan of his music. Me too, but why? So when I woke up and seen <laughs> uh, him in a Falcons jersey and the beat came on with the horns, it was trying to sound hard. I'm like, all right, he's going in a different direction. And then the video continued, and it was clearly a Falcons commercial. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, well, why the hell is Rotimi doing a Falcons commercial? That looks a little weird. But I laughed to myself, again, thinking that nobody else would just find this as funny as me, but boy, was I wrong. It's the nah. internet we talking about here. Yeah. The internet sometimes has a good sense of humor. Oh, no, the internet... They just are not funny. sensitive to they things. Just when they just yeah, don't give a fuck. They, take they don't every, care about, everything is funny. Yeah, yeah. They don't care about everything people's is mental health and shit. <laughs> I even like seeing like the artists from Atlanta like abandoning industry politics and being like, yo, I was right here, dog. Not T.I. Yeah, niggas, 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 <laughs> niggas be lying. Niggas be lying. But dog, they said that. Nigga, they, there's a reason the Falcons didn't call y'all. They know how much y'all cost. <laughs> you think that's it? I think that's part of it. It's probably part of it. If the Falcons know they're not winning nothing this year, <laughs> you think we blowing the budget to get 3,000 3, Jeezy, Gucci to come up here and do this shit? No. Call Rotimi. Call B.O.B. Call somebody. <laughs> At least B.O.B.'s from Atlanta. Yeah, B.O.B.'s yeah, from Atlanta. Yeah, that's Atlanta. a bad example. No, they said they, they said that they think the Falcons purposely went away from them because they didn't want to be caught up in the niggerosity. I mean, you could have went and got. I, I didn't see that. Anyway. Was, that's what I read. You could go get Outcast. Your and, algorithms and be giving you all the wise shit. Nah, yeah. <laughs> how, you, you, how you think they're gonna get Outcast? 
You're not going to get outcast. Let's just be clear. Yeah, that, like, that's not happening. It's the Falcons. That's off the table. I don't care who it is. You're not getting outcast. You're not getting three stacks out of Starbucks. <laughs> He's playing his flute somewhere, man. You crazy? You might get him playing the flute in the commercial. No, you won't. <laughs> there you go. No, you won't. Yeah, you're probably not getting that. Either. They live rotini ass up. And it wasn't he his it's funny shit. It, it, it wasn't, wasn't a bad little jam. <laughs> no, the funny shit is when, It was a cute little song. The funny shit is then they go, you know, it's the internet. They go look up to see if he was ever a fan of any other teams. Oh, yeah, they got him. And they got him. Let's go Jets. Jets, Jets Let's and go Giants. The, like just, the Jets and Giants. He's from New Jersey. He's from here. I know. I don't mean, what that mean? None you a cowboy He shouldn't be doing a Falcons commercial. ATL up. We're going to rise up. Atlanta Falcons. We're going to rise up. Then he had the track in the back uh, doing all the loud hype shit. It was all right. Man, bro, team, you get that check, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, dog, nah, they could have. They, that's horrible. Why? Nigga, if the Giants get too short to come over here and do the, and do the anthem, we will kill the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> that shit might be a bop. Though. I'm laughing at when Dipset did the Knicks commercial. Like, if the Knicks would have ran out <laughs> a group from Miami, it's like the city girl yeah. or some shit. 95 South? Yeah. Something like that. Nigga, you that crazy. Been funny. They had a burn, nigga. They had a burn the garden down. That's a fact. Nah, you're right. That is a fact. Rotimi. Shout out to Rotimi, though, man. Shout. Yeah, get, no get, disrespect get, to get him paid. at all. Yeah, get no paid, doubt. King. No doubt. I'm all for everybody getting paid. We, we get, know. Get paid. Damn. What? Well. Huh? Uh, 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 what you mean we know? You a money hawk, nigga. You a prostitute. No, no. Ish. Sell his ass, right? I ain't selling no ass, ish. I ain't selling no ass. How much? I'm not selling no ass. Yeah, uh, how much your ass? <laughs> what the yo, hey, yo. Yo, All yo, right. What's going on? All right. On? Can we go back to Queens? What's up? Yeah, what's <laughs> yo, pack this shit up. You might got a price, yo. Whoa. No bullshit, yo. I don't know about you, yo. I don't know about your ass, here, though, yo. Man. For the right price. That's what you think? That's what you think? <laughs> yeah, come on. Be, re- be respectful. That's Have man. respect. My yeah, guy right here, man. Respect on my name. Y'all got any thoughts about Jimmy Kimmel laying on the ground while Quinta Brunson accepted her award and gave a speech? I mean, he was just sticking to the joke. I don't think he meant disrespectfully they, to her. Yeah. I don't. Uh, here come. <laughs> you don't know who in the corner over there, Parks. <laughs> we, got, we got Stokely Carmichael and Malcolm. <laughs> <in today. Yeah. laughs> we got Stokely and Michael here today, yo. I mean, Malcolm, um, I don't think based on what I know of him, I don't know if he was purposely trying to do that. Well, person, I, I have no idea what y'all are talking about. Can y'all just so bring uh, up speed he, real he was quick? a presenter, him and um what's the dude name from Arrested Development? Um I can't remember his name. He right. he dragged him out by the legs to do the thing. And dude uh, Jimmy just laid there on the ground while he's announcing the nominees and all that shit. Mm-hmm. And he just stayed there the whole time while she did her exception speech and all that shit. I think and they it, dragged him back off stage afterwards. The the the, the black lady that um is responsible for Abbott's Abbott elementary Abbott's Abbott elementary. elementary. Mm-hmm. So basically, people said that he was a distraction at the time when she was giving her speech and all of that stuff, and it took away from her moment. So they've been killing Jimmy Kimmel. But he was that. just um, he was they drug they dragged they him dragged out him out there prior to even announcing nominees or winner, right? Correct. Yes. I, I don't see. They, they, I let me just counter that with. They also know the nominees and the winner before they go out there and announce it. <laughs> but not just that. Once she giving her speech, you laying on the ground. People are gonna be looking at you. Man, get your, get you know your what I'm saying. Ass. Get your dumb ass up get while I give my speech. Ground, yo. You know what I'm saying. You making she a distraction. Crea- she executive produced the show, created the show, mm-hmm. wrote the show, acted, acted in the in show. The show. Mm-hmm. And let, you let gotta her get her get, moment. Get your motherfucking ass. Let her out get her moment. Of. And she <laughs> joked with him too. So I, I mean, I don't know if it was as 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 severe as people making it. Hold on, this nigga's a Corey. This don't nigga's a me, Bill Bondsman. <laughs> 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 he got all the bail in the world. <laughs> God damn it, Park. Hey, 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 we are, we are Park's kid, man. God damn it. Park's kid. Park's kid. Park's kid. Oh, man. He's a bell bondsman. You got it for the bell bondsman right across from the courthouse now. Right there, yo. Right there. There's a quick walk. Oh, man. Right the street. He's a bell bondsman. What's she, my, my, what's she supposed to do, Park's? What? Like, she is a comedian. She's, she's in. And she's, a professional. She's just one. She's a professional. Yeah. Ain't she supposed to kind of joke with him? Yeah. 
But when she went home to the group chat and her husband or whoever and had the real talk. Do you think she had the do you right think to she was, sort of way? I would, I, would, I would like to hear from what she has to say. <laughs> All right. I don't really get it. All right. But I want to hear from you. I don't think it was. No, no, no. Listen to me. Yes. You won the best <laughs> engineer award uh-huh. and a Grammy after <laughs> all your life's years of work. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a comedian doing some funny shit. What he thinks is funny shit on stage. But you up there giving your speech, you think you think in Buffalo family. Griselda. <laughs> 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 you thinking for who else? <laughs> who else you thinking? Digging in the crates. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Individual one. For sure. No right? doubt. No question. So give. Yeah, at, no doubt. At that particular point in time, and while, he's still making a joke. He's still laying. He yeah. mad tall and long paws laying on the ground while you talking to Giffen up. You're going to say, oh, that was just cool that he continued to joke? Come on. No, I'm, Come I, on. I got to see it. I see I, how it could be. It looked definite. worse than we saying. That's what I said. I, 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 what I Because he's tall. <laughs> and she's short. So now picture it. <laughs> but I mean, like, is he laying right there next to yeah. her? Is he, that's yes. Right yes. Directly it. across. The, right there. You can't miss oh. it. He's in every shot. And mm-hmm. that's what people are saying. Like, okay. now she don't even have a shot. Where of it's her just yeah, her, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to cut her whole he's lower in, half off. Moment. So you take yeah. it away from my, yeah. away from my moment. I take get it away from my. I get it. Moment. And she bust her ass for that moment. All right, mm-hmm. let me ask you this. Shoot, can I propose at your wedding? No. Same shit. That's not the same shit. That is. Exactly you're the taking the away the from exactly my moment. That's not the same shit. I, I get what you're saying thing. by both acts are taking away from the moment, but I. It's levels. That's, no, that's totally different. It, it, so, hey, so listen, that's you, totally different only because I'm going to tell you why I say it's different. Y'all, and again, I haven't seen this. I'm going off what you guys told me. He was dragged out, part of a skit, whatever, whatever y'all want to call it. He was dragged out and stayed there the entire time. Mm-hmm. Proposing at somebody's wedding is totally different when you have to now stop everything and focus on yeah, that, I, I could see if he got up and did some shit and took yeah, away from the yeah, shit, then yeah, that, that, I would that, I could see that equivalency, yes. but that that's not, <clears throat> uh, that's a false equivalency. So you think so you think the wedding is more important? Like in magnitude. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying the acts. Like he was He already, just laid there. He was yeah, just laid there. He was already and was already there prior to announcing, winning, all of that type of stuff. It's not like he had not, they announced her as the winner and then he came up there and laid down. Right. That, that would be would be different. Crazy, that yeah. would that to me is is kind of on the same thing of proposing at the wedding. Yeah, get yeah. your bum ass. All right, yo fam. If you gonna lady, I'm gonna kick you. No, this that, is my that's moment. part of it too. Now, like in a marriage, <laughs> this is my moment. I bust my ass. I never do it. I would get here. I won. Did he say anything about this yet? And Jimmy Kimmel's my man. Has he addressed yeah, it? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I, so I, I, do, I typically like. I started off with comedy. him being who he is. Yeah. I don't think he was up there on no malicious shit. No, I don't think that either. I think it might have just been distasteful and. For sure. That's Listen, it. if it was me, I would have got yeah. up and rolled off the stage and got out of the way. But I don't think that what he did was like the craziest shit in the world, personally. Got you. And ha- like I said, has he has he addressed this or spoken, said anything about this he yet? He probably will. Yeah, I'm sure he will. He's on, he, he he's on the air every night yeah. of the week, I'm sure he he'll say. Will. Okay. Yeah. He has to. Now, if he doesn't, I, I, that would be kind of fucked up. Yes. No, he has to. If he don't say nothing about it, is that like it ain't happen? He has to. Yeah. Then, yeah. Now His I'm... PR people already got some dope shit written already. I'm sure. All right. Let's get Adrian. into the pressing news. <laughs> yeah, I'm off, of, I'm off of the sad stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hip-hop is sad, man. It, yo. Yeah. That's really I hate that it has to be this That's way. That's the bottom line. Hip-hop is sad. Yeah, I hate that it has to be man. this way. Shit is. The world is sad now. Yeah, well, I mean, the world's always been world, sad. No. Go, go nah, find some happiness be doing somewhere. Some fly shit. There's motherfuckers my, in the world doing some fly shit. My whole life is like hip hop. So it's like, yeah, 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 it's, yeah I'm it's centered little... in hip hop. Yeah, same. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I wish it to get better, though. I do. I think it will. I don't know when. <sighs> Somebody reminded me that I called this in 2018. <laughs> yeah, you did. That you said what? You did. Shit was getting worse. That by 2021, man, rappers be dead. Mm. Yeah, like literally verbatim. I hate fault, to, I hate man. to uh, revel in that. That uh, <laughs> this thing is fault. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I hate to revel in that that uh, prediction, but you did. Yeah, you I don't want it. There's yeah. one I don't want. Yeah. I wish it was wrong, but all right. Dang. Here's one I didn't have: Adrian Peterson versus Le'Veon Bell. Answer to it, Ice. In a boxing match. Shout to hip hop. I was wrong. You better, yeah, you better yeah. watch him out. You better. 
Why? He might come steal you. <laughs> yeah, worry. You, 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 you want to get? You want to be a stealer? <laughs> huh? You want to be a stealer? The stealer stole off. You want to be a stealer? You want to meet a stealer? Hey, hey, check it out. The right bag, I do it. Uh, the right bag, you'll get knocked out. No, I'll, I'll fight. I'll fight him. This might be right about you. Yo. <laughs> this it might be. A price, I tried to so. fight a rapper for a bag, no, and then he didn't want to. He ain't sign, he want to sign a contract. That ain't what Ish was talking hey, about. Yo, Le'Veon, Le'Veon, <laughs> shut up, nigga. Ish, Ish wasn't talking about that. But all right, go ahead. Yo, Le'Veon is in shape. That nigga will knock. Le'Veon him. Bell looked great. Come no, on, he did. Nah, people, nah, all right, some all people didn't design. see this. Tell the people what happened. He knocked Adrian Peterson the fuck out. That's what happened. Yeah, he knocked him out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's no other way around it. And he tried to get up like, no, 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 I'm good. No, fam, you're not good. You're not you good. Go no, sit no, your no, ass no. down somewhere. <laughs> nah, yeah. That fight would have gone differently if it was some trees around. <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> the switch. The switch. You know. Come on, a little jokey joke. Uh, little yeah. jokey joke. Let's say Le'Veon has actually been like training to be a boxer. So he I looks like that, it. Yeah. He looks yeah. like it. I guess that's he looks thing. great. He body, yeah. boop, bop. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. dude's, yo, he was, clean too. No, he listened to the instructions. He said, yo, this is what I want you to do. Hit him to the body. Boom. Hit him to the body. And fake the body, hit him in the head. And yeah, he woke up. Like, I don't yeah. want to fight nobody where like they back muscles is defined. I say that on the spot all the time. The like, pull, them pull up. Le'Veon niggas. Bell looked like he's been training. Yeah, for this, yeah. Like he didn't just wake life. up and say, "All right, I'm gonna fight." Adrian Peterson looked good too. Not yet. Yeah. Looked a little Peterson. different though. A little, little, little different. You got more yards than me. Let me show you this. <laughs> <laughs> you could cut yeah, you better than me. I'm gonna cut kn- better than you. Should have known they had it out for him. With the whole yardage thing. Speaking of, and this I thought was a joke when I first read about it. They said Jake Paul was gonna fight Anderson Silva. Now, I may not be the biggest USB uh, U, uh, UFC head out here or USB. But or USB. <laughs> Shut up, Parks. <laughs> <laughs> but I know Anderson Silva was that dude. Yeah. I said, this has to be a joke. And then sure enough, they announced it. Were they putting on a trailer? It's real. That's kind of a serious question, but it's also kind no. of funny. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I think we we got to kind of understand that this is what Jake Paul do. Like, every fight that gets announced, we be like, yo, this shit is a joke. And it don't be a joke. Like a box. I'm just saying, this has been a kind of, a kind of theme here where a, a, a Jake Paul fight gets announced. We were like, yeah, all right. Eh. Some impossible. Some mm. in, and then it's like, nah. No? I mean, yes, that's true. That's happened to some degree. But nah, this is totally different. This is Anderson Silva. Okay. When he when he did Floyd, you knew it was some money shit. You knew it was all types of contract stipulations. We also had seen Floyd do that, that exhibition thing before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, when he fought that other dude that hadn't fought and he retired 20 years ago, you mm-hmm. kind of knew that he could probably use a bag to fake some shit. Like, How do you exhibition a UFC fight? Like, with, with his <laughs> well, fights... Well, that's what I was asking been, you. Is this a boxing match or his, UFC with fight? With his fights, we've been thinking that somebody's paying somebody to fall and lay on the ground to, to get his stock. That's what we've been thinking. Yeah. You can't kind of do that with Anderson Silva. Well, that's been a thing. But but my thing is, is this a UFC fight or... Is this a boxing match? It's not a UFC it, fight. It has to be boxing. So again, we uh, go back when um, in no world Conor do I ask Jake Paul. That's, that's what I was getting ready to say. Go back to when Conor McGregor and uh, Floyd. You are taking him out of his element, putting him over here. In no world do I think that Jake Paul beats Anderson Silva in and that's any what type of and, and that's what physical <laughs> in any type that's of physical competition. And that's what Vegas wants you to think. Got a point. That, that's the selling. I'm not betting that, on no, this. I'm just saying. No, I'm just but saying, that's but the selling. There point. are people that's, that's like the selling point. Nah, ain't no way he gonna beat his ass. I gotta watch this. In the this. event that Jake Paul somehow defeats Anderson Silva, I'm calling the fix to be in. The same way that the rumors been out there that the fix has been in that we paying people to take a loss because it's our cash cow. Hey, listen, it's a business. It's working. It's lucrative. Everybody happy. Fuck it. Speaking of business, what did you think of Jay Z uh, receiving backlash for his capitalist statements? <laughs> yeah, Ish, speak on that, please. <laughs> Y'all really want me to go first? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was about to call you because I wanted to hear your thoughts on this. <sighs> you gonna dry up the pot? Um, how come you I, think every I, time that you' about to get in your bag that it's gonna dry up some shit? Because y'all say I'm the serious guy, so I well, try to you stay like. But sometimes it's time to get. This serious. is a serious. No, yeah. I, I, and this could still be funny. No, I think he's right. <laughs> it's think, Showtime Sports, by the way. Just for I think he's a thousand percent correct. <laughs> well, I, mean, I think it's, it would be interesting if it was on Triller. <laughs> Nothing's going on Triller anymore. I know. Man. I hate to tell y'all that. <laughs> yeah, right. Watch. 
Mitchell. Or what? No. Scam again? <laughs> Go ahead. Yo, I think Jay's right. I think um, we have this, or we've been pushed, this narrative has been pushed that if you are a quote-unquote capitalist, you just some evil being conglomerate motherfucker that's just swallowing up the small man. And that's awesome. Not- <laughs> Huh? Yeah, we on the road. <laughs> we on the road. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 I was going to let you cook. Bro, I'm yeah. grown. Swallowing <laughs> up <laughs> the small <laughs> man. No, we going to pause that. Has to come. Yeah. Come on. Yo, yeah, dog, yeah. Come on. So, no, nah, I just think that, that I just think that that's a mis- misconception. I think that, um, and I think we need to stop that narrative. I think that um, when it comes to black people, especially, we just have negative thoughts and we've been taught all this negative shit when it comes to money. So think about all of our phrases like money is the root of all evil. Um, uh, money don't buy happiness. It's just a whole bunch of when you think about money, it's negative shit. And subconsciously, you you pushing that. What? Wait. Well, you don't believe those things to be true? No. I don't believe money to be the root of all evil. I believe that the people that acquire the money and do evil shit, they was evil people to start with. I think that- You don't think money could corrupt? Yeah, it can. But I think if, I think that you just an evil person. If you do evil shit, you evil. And when you get the money, it just magnifies who you already were. I think if you are a generous motherfucker, when you get a bunch of money, you still going to be a generous motherfucker. It ain't going to make you turn it to some evil person. That's my opinion. I just right, think that... you're about to make round me up in yeah, Jersey yeah, yeah. for the first time. <laughs> nah, I just think that... Trying to be cool at 42. I just think that we, we kind of push these negative things to money. And it kind of takes away from... People trying to get it. Let me let me offer resistance. Shoot. Uh, money is money because of the systems attached, right? Yeah. You lost me. Uh, no. All, all, no. Money was created just as a uniform way to barter. No. That is the that is the that is why money was created. No. Okay. You tell me because before money, there was still a bartering system. Yes, and it was hard to and it was hard right? to quantify. So, so now who quantified it? So let me give you. It was a uniform way to barter. I understand. So look, so when you when you start talking about somebody trading a pound of salt for a cow, right? Like let's say your only possession was a cow, you can't break down a cow. Well, mm-hmm. you, can, you get what I'm saying. You can't break down a cow into units. <laughs> So that cow had a value. It, the gold or ounce of this had a value. We understand. Money was just the uniformity piece that gave a Uni- value to everything. Who decided the uniformity and who typically has decided the systems in which money is active, active in? Because the, while they were bartering, they were bartering us too. So we couldn't have been involved. That's not true. Because I know where you had it, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you. Where I'm headed is plain as day. They they put faces on on this dollar bill. And, be, and I know. And before America was America, there was money. Mm-hmm. So it can't be Americans that did this. Before there was an Americas or thought of an America, there was money. There was gold coin that people used as a uniform system in which to trade goods. Ish, you don't need to explain that to us. We're talking about today... This money with these faces. You said they created this. So you went back to the inception, and that's what I'm addressing. Okay. So today, of course, we know today the powers that be and the stuff that they do with this fake money. This ain't even real money today. Mm -mm. It's bullshit. But it speaks to the transactional system that is in place. True indeed. So we can't dismiss it. True indeed. It is a real thing with real people on this dollar, people just like are they dying have, for it. Just like they no, but I'm speaking to the pe- about the people that are still on this thing, mm-hmm. uh, the Susan B. Anthony's, all the statues that they have up. Like mm-hmm. we know what the systems created here, Indeed. adored. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how can we just throw that out the window when we speak to people saying, well, some of the phrases that we talk about, like money is Again, the root of all evil. My, it will be my, hard for me to think. See, see your point with them putting evil people on it. But no, because you're, you're oh, well. Again, you, you're talking about present day versus because we talk about money. The bartering system is not is but, money. Money is our bartering but, but system. You're talking so we're about not the, saying that's the root of all evil. You need to be able to trade. But you're talking about United States money. I was you talking about money from its inception. So that's what I addressed initially. But now you brought it to the U.S. in the faces that are on our currency. Yeah. 
right? Um, I still think that the overall concept, I think that when you start to tell people, um, when you start stamping these things, like, like during slavery times, right? You know what, from chopping the cows up? Yeah, now they put, they put these thoughts in your eye, in your head. Like, yo, you doing this suffering so that you could prosper in the afterlife. Mm -hmm. That's how they brainwash you into not trying to become free. Yeah. Like they they taught keep you in your place. Yeah, to keep you in your place. They taught the slaves literally, dog. Like yeah, so religion yo, was this for. is God is got you here doing this suffrage so that in the in the next life or in the afterlife, you'll live in paradise. So you'll be free. I think that the same systems kind of put these narratives out about money to keep your dumb ass from trying to get to that money and that freedom. And I think that we subscribe to them, and I just think it's a bad thing. So back to what Jay-Z is saying, he's saying that. People nowadays in the black community almost put somebody striving for excellence or for money like they negative or like they evil or like they bad. He went a little far with the, yo, when you say the word capitalist is almost equivalent to nigga, that was a stretch. But um, I, I get what he's trying to convey. Like, yo, when you trying to get money now, niggas damn near condemn you and call you a capitalist. And we looked up the definition of capitalist a couple weeks ago and it says none of that. But people think that that's what it's referring to. Yeah, because when it's brought up, and that was my point when we looked it up, mm -hmm. uh, people are normally speaking about the sentiment that comes. And that proves his point, though. Because when you look up the definition of the word capitalist or capitalism, it does not signify what we have stamped on the word today. See, when the world get too serious and scary like it's is describing, then I'll run back to hip-hop and read the headlines. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Nah, like, like yo, get, dog, get, I, get me back to Rasby versus Amarion. I think I think all of us <laughs> should be striving to be capitalists. I agree, but it has a meaning. It has a meaning that they made up. True. Uh oh, uh oh, like, oh, oh, hold on. oh, oh, wait. oh, you don't got it. Oh, wait. Yo. Nah, 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 I'm agreeing with you, it, uh, but, but like parks. <laughs> yup. <laughs> all right. I am so messy. <laughs> I, I, I love a good mess. I do. So when somebody in the back about to get to arguing with Ish, I try to highlight it. I don't even want to argue. <laughs> I though. try to put a highlight to it. Now, brought the, about the, the bullpen. Now the great thing about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now the great thing about moving, people could just stop by. Yeah, it's not without it. Just without a hassle. So Omar just came to stop by and observe. He just came to kick it. But Ish was talking that shit. <laughs> And we got our whole Rizza Islam corner <laughs> over here now. Shout out to my good, our good brother Rizza Islam. Mm -hmm. So, oh, 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 what did you have to say about what Ish was saying? I mean, we was talking about. I feel money. like Mona Scott. <laughs> wow, but that the thing. was yeah, messy. That was, we don't Scott. have to argue. Like, yo, I, I'm it was a healthy. You, I'm pivoting from my debating with y'all. We could have a good quality so discussion amongst so, black men. I like I like it. My, my, and my, you. My brother, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> my brother, Mr. F. Go ahead, I, was, you... I, I was just saying, technically, capital, capitalism is a fabricated word based on what was happening in the moment, and let's put something on it to, to make what we're doing seem okay, right? This is just the system. Well, then you got to ask deeper questions. Who designed the system? What purpose did it serve? Then we talk about the nomination. What, what is money? The original money was land, right? And that's why when you study the ancient world, it was all about conquering space, mm -hmm. you know, and then that made people richer. And then the the things that come from that space, whether it's diamonds, copper, minerals, you know, all that stuff, aside from cattle, that adds on to your, your, your uh, you know, your wealth. Assets. Yeah. So I just think we live in a system where it's like a, specifically the American system is, a, is dog eat dog, right? It's sure. like, and I think what's fair in life is that if um, I'm trying to find the right example, if we all in a room in the studio trying to write and come up with it and you come up with the beat and you know what I'm saying? You start spitting and you come up with a hook or whatever. It's like, that's a collective, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But then we're in a system where it's like, but if somebody got a bigger name, they could be like, all right, great. Yeah. You're all contracted workers. And then when you see the credits, it's written and produced by mm -hmm, such mm -hmm, and such. Mm -hmm. So that's capitalism. Mm -hmm. In, in a base form, right? But if, you know, at the same time, if I come up with the cure for cancer, I should be compensated, right? Indeed. Absolutely. You won't well, be. I definitely you, won't be. You'll be compensated. You won't be compensated fairly. 
I'll be I'll be knocked off because they yeah. like, nah, or, like or, it or, is. Or, or, if you if you if you push too hard, you're gonna get knocked off. But they would definitely off him. They get him the fuck nah, out of here. Pfizer's gonna Damn. come. No, Pfizer's gonna <laughs> come. Saying. That's not what's gonna happen. <laughs> he got to play. So Pfizer gonna come say, Omar, I'm gonna give you hundred million. No, they're not. There. Yes, they will. Because they gonna make. What do you fifty? I'm giving you hundred million. <laughs> Yeah. If I have the cure, and you give me a hundred million, you kick nah, rocks. Nah, yeah. Why I mean, would they kill you? At least a billion. <laughs> why would they? That's care? the bottom right there. <laughs> Good point. That's, That's why I said I they wouldn't do that. No. They, yes, they will. Why what would they mean? cure it? Because because now I could cure it. I could buy the patent from him, give him all type of NDAs, and then I could go put the patent in a safe somewhere and never put it out. They already have the cure. They just I were waiting for it to be like buying Tylenol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To where they can get because everybody. Oh, I got a headache. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. that little system right there. That's like hustling on the block, like. You want to move keys or you want to move nickel bags? Like, you know what I'm saying? What's the more active system? No, what's the more profitable one? Pro yeah, that's what So I'm the more active. profitable one really is the nickel bags, but it's safer than the birds. It, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? No, I agree with you. But, but I think with something like that, they want to, you know, it's just my beliefs. Um, they already got all They that. don't want I, the, I, you know what I'm it, saying? It's, it's less profit it. to put, and this goes into capitalism. It's less profitable to give the cure, even if you gave yes. it at a super duper high number. Still less profitable. Why would the fuck will we give the cure out when we making so much money off the treatment? And that's mm -hmm. capitalism. That's capitalism, right? Which is and, a fabricated but, word. It in didn't the, exist in the, before. No, but in the term that the masses use capitalism, that's capitalism that they're referring to. Where we had a conversation when I said, "Yo, I don't think nothing's wrong with capitalism if you're not exploiting or using or or, or demeaning somebody." We all are in a race to get to a different level. Mm -hmm. We should be in a race to get to a different level of ascension, but it don't got to be at another person's expense. And I think that's the misnomer with capitalism. Like, yo, you just beating on these downtrodden people and you coming up off of them and that's fucked up. That ain't what it is by definition. But that's interesting what you say because I, it, in a slight way you're contradicting yourself because if you have a cold and... I have some tea or some herbs that can help your sure. body pass the cold. Why wouldn't I give you that information, if, especially if I know you don't have it, right? Mm -hmm. So now we take the allure of capitalism would be, nah, he got to buy that from me. You no. got to buy the tea bag and this, that, and I, the other. No, I'm not no, just no. going to give him I the agree. Information. When yeah. I said this, this stuff about cancer, I said that's society's name for capitalism. But that's not what it really means. No, we in agreement. Right. I said that. Society refers to that, like the mistreatment or the, the shiesty shit right. as capitalism. Right. But that ain't what it really means. Yeah, we pulled up the definition and we it was it not up, like, no, it's that, like, a, it's like, but when you say the definition, it's like, well, who defined it, right? Like, who made up the uh, denomination of a dollar, right? This is why people in Europe was, was, was bugging over the whole Brexit thing. But because they sitting there like, wait a minute, who we didn't have a say in this for y'all to say, yo, all of these pounds or whatever the, the denomination is called equals this now. It just happened overnight. Mm -hmm. So you had whole countries that went over, under. Yeah, mm -hmm. went under. Because their denomination of that was cool before, they was able to survive just mm -hmm. make yeah. pennies. Made Greece nothing. being one of them. Call back. Yeah, Greece got their ass what? Yeah. So who, so, but I, what I'm saying is who defines that? You know, unless everybody comes to the table and says, hey, this is the move we think we should make because of X, Y, and Z, mm -hmm. then that's cool. That's a democracy, right? right. Yes. Like yeah. everyone has a democracy. Book, but if money just come in like this is what it is today, and we all at the behest of that, that that's when you get into sure. that. Well, what how do you define what so, capitalism so, uh, capitalism yeah, is? I'm I'm agreeing first, but you see the problem that that would cause. Cause then you would have a million voices that would never agree on anything. You can't so you would have Amer let's say New Jersey or New York got 30 million people, right? 30 million different opinions, we are never, ever, ever going to get to some common ground where we're going to agree. But on the baseline, see, I, my only pushback on that would be the baseline, right? Like, in the now. Everybody wants this COVID thing done. What's done? Like, over. Okay. Right? It's affected every sector of life. You know, God bless people who've lost people and, and the people who've passed and so forth and so on. But in the living now, you got to get tested out the wazoo. You got to do this. You got to do that. And it's impeding Probably. Individuals, mm. probably, like everybody that you talk to from every walk of life, is like, I'm just ready for this to be done. That's not true. Well, because who you're talking about is the capitalist, the people that stand to get a profit, to, to, exactly yeah, to, to benefit from it. You actors, right. you actors don't care about talking to the microphone. 
Who? <laughs> what? You it's actors. not what he do on a daily actors. basis. Just, they've ignored this shit. <laughs> yeah, because they used to. Oh, have, I should. I'm, I should <laughs> talk. talk There's more stuff. Yeah, yeah, they used yeah, to have it right bit. here. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tucked exactly. under the joint. Exactly. Or and somebody I, has the do boom thing. And I should have known Ish was gonna get passionate about the Jay Z topic. That's why I said. I, <laughs> yeah. Why you think I threw it right there? It's not even a Jay Z topic. I, we talking about and a capitalist topic. You know what else? It's like it's like back in the days. I don't know if y'all remember this, but like when Jordan was winning, 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 and then they. In the hood, they'd be like, oh, he sold his soul. And then it's, when his pops, you know, yeah. you know, tragically, yeah. mm -hmm. everybody was like, see, blood sacrifice. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, these people. That's what you was just saying. You, you see what I'm saying? So that's what kind of Jay is referring to. What's that line he had He had uh, a few years ago? I, for, I forget which. Damn, I forget the song. He was just talking about getting in the two-seater and y'all talking about, like, I had to... I had to join Illuminati to, to have this car type joint. He you said, remember. He got about a bunch of them. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. When someone is working hard, um, breaking ceilings and advancing us as not just black and brown people, but as society in general, like you could see someone really come from this mm -hmm. and go to that due to hard work and dedication. And then when they get there, you like, nah, you had to do an O for walk through a door. It's like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? That is something that we do. If right now, out of the blue, you sign to whomever for $300 million. There's going to start being rumors that circulate on how you acquired the $300 million because you couldn't have did it with just hard work. Slow down. That's the good thing about me being me. If I get the $300 million, they've already said all the rumors. No, they wouldn't. No. There'll be different rumors. No, There'll be, be new different rumors. Yeah. Different levels. You, <laughs> you unlock the new Niggas tier of rumors now. Niggas couldn't do nothing with me. They put the devil on me. <laughs> yo, he said, yo, dog. Yeah, they wouldn't just, I just couldn't have just made good business moves and I couldn't have just bust my ass and worked hard. It had to be some ulterior thing that got me here. Because now I don't have to look in the mirror and say, yo, damn, I need to work harder. He got his by some level of advantage. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, yo, people do that, especially I, I, us. I agree with him on that. Yeah, like, because yo. Because that's, that's what I was trying to say. Like, if you look at a MJ or even a Kobe, you know, these are dudes... <laughs> not just staying in the gym, but after the game is over, whether they won or lost, Jordan would go back to the crib, shoot like a thousand free throws. Man, you know, Allen, and, and, and so you take Allen, away yeah, from that no person's work. Allen Iverson, Kobe. Allen Iverson said he told Kobe, game was over. Yo, nigga, what's up? I'm going to the club. Kobe's like, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to the gym. Right. After the game was over. I just imagine Kobe's face looking at him saying that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get your fucking... <laughs> <laughs> no, but so, but then they couldn't do it to Kobe because the physical growth and the physical um, um, maturity in his game, you can't blame that on something else. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's something that's undeniable. Yo, Kobe came in, they rookie year. He wasn't the best rookie to come in. He wasn't the top five rookie to come in. He, he had potential. He became the best player, arguably, in the NBA based off of hard work. If somebody else would have signed a deal, like if it would have been money um, uh, related, they would have made excuses why he got there. But they did do it to Kobe in a different way because uh, he was playing with Shaq. True. Which or, is kind or, of a, I mean, it's a 50-50, yeah, but they did try to, they did try to chop him. Or, yo, Jokers even say, yo, he grew up with a basketball in his hand. His father played ball overseas, da, da, da. I right. still had to train and, and, and my father put the, ain't put, put the hours in myself. Exactly. Michael Jordan's son grew up with the best. He ain't become Michael Jordan too. I did you a favor by not bringing the Monopoly board here today. No, you didn't. Because you sound smart. <laughs> I, I, you know. <laughs> you sound smart. That's you sound like you We can start playing for money too. Stop it, Ish. So every time Corey Stop do some it. bullshit, it'll cost Stop him it, some spanking. <laughs> Ish. Ish, I will walk and get the Monopoly board. Omar keep talking about Jordan which is a perfect segue, and we get into all Lamar Jackson argument because I want to hear what you have to say about it. But that's a perfect segue to my new favorite beef, Michael Jordan versus Scottie Pippen. Mm. <laughs> it might be better than Isaiah Thomas versus Michael Jordan at this point. I think it is. Mm. And I thought that was pretty slick of the old Mike. What? Send your son send out there. Send my son out there to do my dirty <laughs> work. Send your, send your son out there. <laughs> Holler at dude's little ex-wife you know I mean? or wife. I don't know what their situation is. Mm. God, did you gentlemen see the malice in that or just by happenstance? Nah, it was malice. <laughs> you know yeah. Mike took something personal. That's what I was going to It's personal. All right. 
got to let old grudges go, man. Like, it is what it is. Nah, the thing is, Mike ain't even had a grudge. I check back to make sure niggas is failing. No, why do you have to let... Hold on. Why you got to let the old grudge go? Huh? Yeah. Why do you have to let the old girls go? We just talked about black excellence. <laughs> and I'm going to be excellent. But, excellent. It, but you're in not. the petty. <laughs> Excellently vengeful. Yo. I could, I could, well, I could excel. Down, because it's done. And pray already. on your downfall. Like what's done is done. The legacies are set. You know, you know what we what we miss a lot of times when it's cast like this specifically is they once an athlete, forever an athlete. And I mean that in the spirit of competition. competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like true. you look at a Floyd. He don't care if it's ping pong, cards, anything. Race down the hallway. Like, they, they operate in a different mind mm-hmm, frame. Mm-hmm. And Jordan, what's Jordan said in his Hall of Fame speech? Like, y'all think I'm retired. I could go out there and handle, like, Mike, we love you, dog, but Amazing. you can't yeah. really. But in his mind, and it's taking nothing away, obviously, from his greatness. He's like, I can handle all y'all right now. Because I guess yeah. to operate at that level of greatness. To damn Marley and them. To what? <laughs> <laughs> to Dan Marley and Craig Elo and he, he wasn't he wasn't talking to Byron Russell. He wasn't talking to none of them. Yo. Just naming some two guards in the league. I mean, he wasn't talking to the, I, he and was I'm talking, talking to shit. Y'all know, I no, talk no, no, shit. He, he wasn't talk, I just he be wasn't talking, talking shit to the old niggas that love Mike. That's all I'm doing. But if y'all are pivoting, you don't love Mike. Away. Huh? You don't love Mike? I don't love Mike like the rest of y'all love Mike. Okay, love we got it. We I don't live it in now. What do you nah. what are we talking about? I don't love Mike like that. What was unclear about my sentence? He's light skin. That's cool. That's colorism. <laughs> bang, bang. That's colorism. That is. That's colorism. Well, that, what's so, colorism? Stop with these isms, please. All these buzzwords. <laughs> yeah. New buzzwords. Just, new he buzzword. is light skin. That's not colorism. <laughs> oh, Mark. Hey, hey, oh, stop. Yo. Don't do that. Yo. Don't do that. I don't want to get canceled. Yo, let me just don't do that. I'm brown skin. You never get canceled. What tell you what's going to happen. His mother watched this. Oh. Who, my mom? Yep. Oh, how she mama was, She was right. I'm just she's right in that though. And ever since saying. she said that, it made every me... time I hear somebody use the term light skin to somebody, I'm... they be trying to say that nigga soft. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that wasn't what I was saying. Oh, I he heard. said that's what I, heard. I, I don't really <laughs> he said he don't really feel Mike like that either. And you saying I'm light skinned meant what? I meaning like <laughs> It's a thing. It's an inside thing. We yeah. know what it is. I know we do. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, moving right along. <laughs> what? Did I just dig? Dig? dig yeah, you did. You Wait, what are little? we pivoting to? You, no, you what's unclear like about? In the, what's yep. unclear about what I said? What, how could you not like or love or adore Mike like we do? Because for me, it's bigger than basketball. For oh, me, it's way bigger. Than basketball. Oh, oh, Why? Please tell me where it's bigger. Oh. Huh? Space Jam, nigga. What, what, Yo, <laughs> and, and, outside and of basketball, parks. how you love Michael before, Jordan? Before, before the next part, we are putting the Muffin Man song in this computer. <laughs> oh, here come the Muffin Man, the Muffin Man, the Muffin. I'm smelling these muffins. <laughs> what, what? You walking right into a track. Yeah, yeah. 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 If this is bigger right than basketball, the then, if you if this is bigger than basketball, then you explain it. What, first of all, what Mike is if you look at every basketball player that came before Mike, let's just say every athlete outside of. Um, Muhammad Ali, a Jim Brown. Um, oh, outside of the real ones. <laughs> What's real? His name don't even belong with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. You're, not, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Like, where he no. was able, let's go back to the capitalism thing. What Mike was able to do had never been done before. What? What are you talking about? Please tell me. No, I want him to explain. In business. <laughs> I don't want to at infer, that assume, explain what yeah, he did you, in business no, that had never been explain. done before. You said that. What other ba- pops chime in? Pop what is other- ch- pop is oh, to- pop ready to tear your ass up. But no. go ahead. Oh. <laughs> what b-ball player owned the team that played for the league? No. And wasn't an employee? No. Until? He was the second black person to ever own a team, period. So that's this is what I'm talking about. Okay. And all of the things that he was able to do in terms of like, let's find oh, a different, hold on, point. let's find a different parallel. What's going on right now with with Ye and Adidas? Totally different. And how to co- well, uh, I'm talking about market share. Adidas was down here. Ye start rocking with them. They up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what Mike did to Nike. You know what Nike was before? Nike was a brand new company. Don't matter. It does matter. They was getting spanked. They was a brand new entity. It was getting spanked. That matters. It matters, it matters. because Adidas Adidas been around. So that's not a good parallel because Adidas been here. Adidas been here for 60 years. Them being a new company has nothing to do with the fact that Mike took their whole brand to astronomical places. Fact. While he was still playing. No, that matters. Fact. 
Why and still winning? There was nowhere to go but up. I'm agreeing. When you start talking about outside of basketball, as if Michael Jordan off of the basketball court just did all these miraculous things. Because then his first example was going to basketball. Who owned the team? That's but, basketball. But, well, I was I was starting. MJ has done a lot of things that he don't want people to know about. There's a lot of there's well, a lot of people. They surely don't know. Yo, listen, oh, they to don't know. Brother. Listen, <laughs> you right. <laughs> there's a lot of people that share that sentiment. Because especially if you look at the time frame that he was coming up in, there was no social media, internet, things like that, right? They think he he, should, he benefited from that, by the way. In a sense, but there no, was no, there was still there was always paparazzi or people want you know we come up in the day where people hold the big check, they cut the ribbon, they take the pit. Some people not on that, they just do the thing. Oh, because they come hey, yo, in from oh, a genuine no, place. They do, don't they don't want the credit for X, Y, and Z. Oh, in that they way. publicly asked Michael Jordan certain questions mm -hmm. and how he felt. And what was his ideal? Right. And he stood on the unpopular side of us. With a that few nigga things. is not LeBron. I'm not a LeBron fan. Off of the court, LeBron James is a fucking amazing. Yeah, I'll agree Michael with you Jordan on that. Michael Jordan is uh, not uh, him Le off Le the court. Le LeBron bro. We're not James, doing that. LeBron James is out loud, and he, he he's coming up in a different time. But you everybody don't. But hold everybody on, hold on. still don't do what, what he's doing today's yeah. time neither. Yes, and I'm not taking nothing away. From, LeBron is incredible, but he's coming up. In, now I'm too loud. No, Le no, LeBron, no. I, get the, I just want to get the mic. LeBron is coming up in a time where the commissioner of the league and these owners are kind of giving him the platform to be able to speak on these things. He's almost like, hold on, hold on. He's almost like, it, it, it's like some of them might want to speak out on it, but they the owners. They got to play so many things. So it's better if we have the best player in the league. No, say that. they don't want the best player oh, of the league saying that. They didn't that give shit. him shit. He took his he platform took and recognized yeah. that I'm the best player in the league, which means my value is one where mm -hmm. they can't blackball me yep. and I can say whatever the fuck I want because I generate so much revenue for the game. I totally agree Michael with Jordan, you, but stop, that was oh, set stop, up. Oh, stop, oh, Hold on, that was Hold set up. up. I'm not done. Okay, go ahead. Michael Jordan could have taken that baton that LeBron took and ran with it. They couldn't have kicked him out of the fucking NBA. He played the safe role. Mm -hmm. In a time where he could have been the outspoken voice of the whole entire NBA, he chose to be mute. He but did hold the Tiger, let me, he let did me, the OJ. Let me, yeah. let me, yeah. let me counter did. that a little bit. Let's, let's go into the minutia of it. What you just said is they I couldn't kick them out of the yeah. NBA. Huh? That's a What's color. It? No, it's not. A, that's <laughs> minutia. It's, kind of, it's like purple, but... <laughs> minutia. You're wearing like, minutia. Yeah, that's <laughs> lilac. Meaning like the matrix of it, right? Why did Michael Jordan retire from basketball? Who you asking? I don't know. The whole room. I have no idea. <laughs> I can't tell you. He here. retired because of the owner of the Bulls. Oh, uh, okay. So when you say they couldn't have kicked him out, they really did because he still wanted to play. No, wait, they which, did which not kick him. Is, wait, wait, this time, the last wait, time. Wait, oh, yeah. After the Wizards? Really? When he came back to the Bulls for the next three, he still wanted to rock. He the, wasn't getting along with Jerry Krause. Cool. I'm Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Any other 27 teams in the NBA back at that time would have gladly said, how much you want? You're missing me. You're missing it. He wanted to play for the Bulls, retire there, and do that. Okay. He didn't want to make that pivot to, let me go to another team and all of that. Th that came after the fact. Where it, why, why did Braun leave Cleveland? Same thing, but he's in a different time. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to go here, and he's younger. LeBron is a different man. He is a different man. I'm not. A, I'm not disagreeing with is. you. He's I'm a saying, different man. And we have 90 more seconds on LeBron versus MJ. Yeah, like he's <laughs> two, just a different man. Two things can be true at the same time. I'm saying he's a different man, but in a different time. I think that to your point, the character of LeBron in any time, he would be speaking up for these issues oh, that you that you're referring to. I'm, I'm gonna throw but three names at you. Everybody different. I'm gonna throw three names at you, and we could get off this topic. Because you're using time and the time in which they were in as a justification for some of Michael Jordan's bullshit. I'm going to say Jim Brown came way before Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Muhammad Ali came way before Michael Jordan, as did Bill Russell. Came way before hey, uh, Michael all Jordan. all the people that he started to take out of this. Who, no. me? <laughs> No, so we no. can go to Jack Johnson. Wait, wait, Let's wait, go wait, no, 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 no. So you can't use, yo, they were in a different time as an excuse because them niggas stood on what the fuck they stood on at a time when it was way more volatile than when Michael Jordan was running around. I agree with and you. And none of them ever got amounted, I mean, amassed the financial wealth that Michael Jordan went, which means they was more sacrificial for them to do what they was doing than Mike. Right, but the, all I'm saying is Mike is Mike. Like, everyone's different. Uh, di everyone has a different purpose and. 
in a different journey. True. So in the journey that Mike was on, it was like, yo, I'm going to get this bread and shatter that ceiling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you got armies of people out here dealing with these other issues. Let me do this for us because on the back end, now we see what it is. You yo, know what I'm saying? See, that, that's where you lost me, though. When you say, let oh me do this for God, us. Oh, my God. Y'all don't know what 90 seconds was. I, <laughs> I, thought, I thought I still had, another, I still had another 14. Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought I had a 14. Yo, the shot clock is, oh, J.R. Smith, what are you doing? Chris, Chris Webber. And shout out to J.R. Smith yeah, Chris Webber. Oh, <laughs> what man. What yeah. the fuck? Oh, y'all have introduced a great segue to one of two topics. We can fight about Lamar Jackson now and his contract. Pay him. Or we can have the Adidas-Kanye discussion. Mm. Mm, I like both that. of those seem relative to the conversation y'all are trying to have. Both, we, are, both are cool for me. Yeah, you wait, what up, was yeah. the development in the Kanye Adidas saga? Swiss Beats and a few other people are now saying let's boycott Adidas until Ye gets his fair treatment. Oh, okay. I'm with it. I don't buy Adidas anyway, but if I did, I would stop wearing it. Why? I think it's a bad look. Like the Lamar <laughs> thing is a little different. No, 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 no. Something I, about Jersey. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean a bad look on the corporations behind. No, we're not on Lamar. No, I'm saying on both of them. Like with, oh. with, with Ye, look what he did with Nike before then, mm -hmm. and then he comes to Adidas. Like, come on, like the proof is in the pudding. Right. And now y'all just yapping his joints. Like, nah, we ain't. So we had a similar conversation prior to the gentleman coming out saying to boycott Adidas. I stood with Ye in that they bootlegging his shit. I'm not a fan of that. Right. Them bootlegging his shit and selling it at a lower price point, which means that you trying to kind of, in hustling terms, you short stopping my money. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of that. However, I'm not a fan of boycotting Adidas either because Kanye is the same nigga that said, yo, slavery was a choice. So you, nigga, whatever them contracts you signed, that was your motherfucking choice. Nigga, stand by your shit. I think it was the last part I came in here and said, for Kanye to have the fight that it looks like he's trying to have, he's going to have to do a lot more of the legwork. And ever since, for me, it appears that he's trying to do a lot more of the legwork. Like, he's reaching out to people. He's trying to get his own, his own everything. Own, yeah. Own own designers, and I think that's what he needs to do. His own factories, his mm -hmm. own real estate, his own stores. I he stand has to by do that. it all by himself. It's a large fight, but I mean, I think he can get it done. He needs somebody to come loan him maybe, what, $5 billion, explain to the investor that we're not going to make no money. I'm going to blow through this in the first two years. But by year 10, this will be coming in times 20. I mean, he's on a now, different level. Now, that might be tough to do. He on a different level. Because Con Kanye has explained to us that he might be cash poor. Mm. Like, he, he, might, he might need some cash right this second. And I don't know if he has that because so he's just been amending the whole time. And that'd be the problem when – that'd be the problem – I'm on rant mode now. But that'd mm. be the problem when there's only about 5% of people in music – that really ever get leverage or make any real money. That's true. And when those people don't uh, yield their power a certain way, they just keep amending the deal for the check. So when the deal is up, you give me the check, just add a sentence to the air, it's good. And you keep doing that, and you look up at the end of it all and be like, oh, wait, I sold, I short sold. I short sold myself. Mm -hmm. And then you want to try to do things differently. I think that's where Kanye is now. I think he's had enough of licensing his brand to Balenciaga, to Louis Vuitton, Gap, to shit. Gap. Mm -hmm. who, and let me tell you, I went through the mall uh, when I got back from vacation. And that little marketing thing they pulled on the internet with the big bags and the hoodies, that worked on the internet. Worked. That really, really worked. But when I walked by Gap in the mall, no, there is a large square hardwood cutout in front of the main window with these four bags. They look different. In person, it looked like a lot of thought, a lot of high-powered people mm -hmm. were in agreement on to put this here. So, I mean, it just hit, it hit a little different. And if it hit me different, I'm sure it's hitting him different. It's, him. Mm -hmm. it's hitting him different. And again, y'all know, typically, I'm rocking with that. I'm rocking with that. My thing is, you, you got to stand in what you stand in. You can't come down and... and, and, and... Fam, he said slavery was a choice. Yeah, but that, that like, like, yo, you, you yeah. know, you can't bitch now. He's trying to get his tax break. <laughs> He's trying to get his tax break, ish. 
Whether whether it's that we pay a lot in these taxes. Whether it's that or or he was having a moment, no one is perfect. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he was going through, and then everything after that. I mean, saying that was like whatever compared to wearing the hat, this, that, and the other. Mm-hmm. But the dude is growing and learning. He's trying to open his. I mean, he's an artist, so he, he sees life through art. So he's trying to say, hey, everybody's bashing this dude. Maybe let me. I'm not justifying that. I, I stand on my square. Mm-hmm. So I see what you're saying, but. We don't know the intricacies of whatever he signed with them. True, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's a bigger issue to me. Like I don't, I don't, I, I hate a lot of the shit Kanye has said and done. I still want him to do well. Me too. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. I, 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 I champion fail. him again. I ripped the Dita a, mo- a couple weeks ago for that. I came in. I ripped the Dita for. But what I'm saying is, all of this is learning. This is all a learning process. We all learn it. And the, and, the, and, the, and the more you grow in business, like I've bought single family houses. I've bought multifamily houses. I've learned at each step. If I go buy a, a, a 30 unit building or a 100 unit. What else unit, you bought, Ish? Hold up. <laughs> Hold up, man. Y'all had a fuck. Who the fuck y'all thought it was in here, huh? You know what I'm saying? If I go lane. Buy, <laughs> this <goes round. laughs> in minutia, in minutia. <laughs> yo, if I went and bought a hundred unit building, I've never done that before. It's lessons that come along with that growth, right? Mm-hmm. And it's gonna kick my ass in the beginning, and finally, I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna be able to, you know, what I mean, reel mm-hmm. it in. Now, I might be headed to a 200, 300, 400 I unit you building. Did the hundred already. 100 units in one <laughs> I building. I thought you was him. No, I'm you not said in one building. I, I, was, no, I ain't him. We'll know if he did the hundred. But you know, it's it's he, funny. He won't be coming in. We don't know. We would know. Yo, Ish, where you at? When you talk about a societal construct, right? Like, what happened to fairness? You know, and that's where I think the the we're leading away no from fairness. that. Because sure. what's fair is fair sure. in life. Like, because it's 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 a the whole um, idea of 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 it's an exchange. True. Sure. It's not bartering. It's like, yo, it should be win win. You know, it you got be, this. You say that. You got time. this space. I know how to paint. You know how to do the the, the, the carpentry, like when we're all exchanging. Let's put it together. But fair, fairness is 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 very subjective in capitalism, especially to throw it back to the capitalism conversation. Sure. Right in yeah. capitalism is, but in life, it's like yo, how we grew up, yo, nah. yo, I got I got I got two dollars, you got two dollars. Let's go bust down six wings and fried rice. No, we're gonna share it. We're gonna get a soda, a slice, and then we're gonna split this turkey and cheese amongst us. But that's no, what, what I'm saying. But no, let me tell you no, one of the differences. If you did that with me, I wasn't gonna see you the next day. I'm not seeing you no more, but I'm not sharing a chicken the next day. What? I'm not sharing a Chinese food the next day. If we had to do what he just said, I'm going to go get the money myself. <laughs> you, hear him, right? food. Yeah, you hear no, him, I'm right? Ass. You that, hear him, right? That, that, that characteristic has remained. <laughs> you want to share food? No. This nigga's disgust. Yo, bro, that's some Jersey City no, shit. No, I don't want to bump Wait, hands we... with a nigga on a plate. No, we're no, not doing that. We're not so doing comfortable that. with poverty. No, we're going to go get a turkey and cheese. We're going to split it down the middle. We're going to get a slice, and we're going to get two... Clinton juices. Well, this is exactly how me and my brother fought our whole upbringing. Uh, yes, yeah, selfish that, ass. Comfort, no. no. <laughs> and that's why I act like that. My chicken was that But what do you do when you sit down to eat with a group of people? We're sharing food. We buy enough food for everybody. But, you know, but we, the sometimes money, you the order money like, dictates what you can buy. I'm telling y'all that at 15 <laughs> and 16 years old, I did what he is saying. And I didn't want to do that again. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Were you went on vacation? Huh? We went Mykonos. Oh. It, it just carried over. Ta da. It just <laughs> ta-da, me. No, that's not ta da. Oh, I've been there. I'm not going I'm not back. Like him. <laughs> I'm not going back. Yo. All right, go back. Yo, you no. wanna bust down six wings and fried rice? No, no. Listen, I think maybe Mykonos <laughs> prices. No, I think what you're saying is true, but I think you you being idealistic in what you're saying. So when that, I, I agree with you. Like I believe in that. I stand I by win-win. I think everybody could do business and it could be win-win. What you fail to realize is that what the two people see as fair is different, one. And then the person that's the payer, they don't understand what it goes into that. They don't understand what goes into painting or carpentry or whatever the case may be. They look at it like, man, that's some bullshit. I'm they will you all when that the money. painting come out wrong. And then they have a problem on the other end when the tenant come in like, yo, what's this? Like, mm. then then they want to acknowledge that. No, you know I'm what just mean? saying, but people don't do that. Like, you like, man, you charging me all that for that? Yeah, but that's a trick Put a to transmission me. Uh, All right, all right. Yeah, all right. No, no, we're going to cut it off. But no, I'm going to say something. I want to get this into Lamar Jackson, but go ahead. Okay, I'm just end it real quick. It, 
you know, there's, there's, there's fairness and then there's honor, right? Mm -hmm. I grew up in a time, if I'm sitting on the train in this pack and I see an old lady with bags, I'm going to get up, grab her bags, hit, please have my seat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I would want somebody to do that for my moms or my grandmas mm -hmm. or whatever. Sure. And that's what's missing. Yeah, that it's that ain't, simple. Ain't none of that no more. You know what I'm saying? Just that's looking out for somebody. That. No, they robbing a the lady. Yeah. They're going to rob it. That's the problem. Back. I think that's nasty, too, when I see them, them robbing it. I want the news Bro, every morning. Shit, it's yeah, crazy, dog. Every morning. We can't let that happen, because once we lose that, then there's no going back. We you know what I'm saying? Lost we lost it. that. We oh. lost it. No, it's not. It's, there's Man. still a few of these youngins that's that's honorable. They got fathers. You know what I'm saying? They they just not on social media like that, like I'm saying, like projecting, hey, I helped Miss Johnson across the street. They doing it in real time, in real life. You know what I mean? They not looking for the I attention. I still think overall, that. we lost it, though. Yeah. We ain't losing it. I'm, I'm faithful. I believe in y'all, young generation. Go to your. You <laughs> yeah, this is a segue to your Lamar point. Yeah, this is about fairness and what the organization sees as fair versus what he sees as fair. The organization is gonna lose this one. They gotta pay up. Yeah, they gotta pay up. Gotta pay. They should pay it. But you was telling me pay. that I flip flop on this you do. matter. You do. Yeah, you didn't want. Ky you didn't want Kyler to get paid. I, Kyler, that's not true. Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. Oh, Kyler Murray. Oh. I th no, I didn't want him to get paid. When is there somebody I don't want to get paid? It ain't my money. No, you. we, we both said that Kyler yeah, Murray yeah, wasn't, he wasn't worth that. I don't think he's worth it. I ain't mad at him. I'm not for, mad at him getting paid. Bread. I'm talking about as a fan of the sport get paid. and as other shit and, and using all things relative. No. Pay Lamar Jackson. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. Gotta I, pay I, him. I'm a fan. I'm not mad at nobody getting their bread. Me either. This is how but the market sport, plays, whatever, whatever. But Lamar is Lamar, clearly he's he earned Jackson. money. As Sorry. a sport fan, though, we could comment on the the, the relativity, right? Like, yeah. so if you're going to say Michael Jordan is worth X, then somebody that's not as good as Michael Jordan can't be worth X. You sure. won't give a fuck if they get X because it ain't my bread. I want you to get bread. Right. But yeah. as an onlooker and as a fan, you judging talent and you judging yeah. all things right, relatively. Right. Absolutely. If, That's if, fair. Jamarcus if, Russell, Ryan Leaf. <laughs> there you yeah. go. First yeah. round pick bus. It is yeah. what it is. That's true. You know what so, I'm saying? So now when you say Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, there's a lot of people that would say he's not up there. There's a lot of people that would say Lamar Jackson, relatively speaking as a sport fan, is not a top five NFL quarterback. There's a lot of people that would say that. It could make an argument for that. You can make an argument for anything, though. Like, no, you can't. Like, yes, you can. No, Anybody can sue you for anything, dog. Like, so arguments are the same way. The difference in that point of view is Mahomes got the chip. No, Mahomes got, they got the stats. And so no, as, no, no. He got the chip. True. That's, that's forever. Thing. The that's stats one. don't matter versus I got one ring starting mm -hmm. out at this age. So that's a that's not a fair comparison. Lamar ain't there yet take, until you get the chip. So like, like, it's great it's as also they a think, terrible, it's, fuck all that. Uh, uh, Mahomes signed his shit a couple years ago. Right. This is the way things go. The year after the it, chip. And it doesn't matter. what If you got paid $45 million or whatever he's getting two or three years ago, it's two or three years later. I got to set a new bar. Not if you was not as good yeah, as the person that said yeah, that. He's MVP. We're not talking about even Kyler. And no disrespect to Kyler, because I like him. We're talking about Lamar Jackson. We're talking about Lamar MVP Jackson. Right, but if, what, what, is to, worth, your, to your example, part Today, what Mahomes was worth three years ago. You're Absolutely. Right out of your mind. Yeah, I, and I in two or three that. years, he's going to be I want worth, him to get paid, but I don't know about you that. You are out of your mind. All right. I don't know you don't, know, you, you don't think so? You, you are out what, of your what mind. What Mahomes was doing and what Mahomes was worth? I'm no, saying no, no. He, he, he just said that he's worth what Mahomes got then because we're three years removed. Exactly. Or three, and, this, three, three, and this is, and this is oh, where y'all call me a capitalist because y'all think I side with the organization. If you were running the motherfucking Vikings you and you had an opportunity to get Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson, you're going with Patrick Mahomes. No doubt. But Patrick Mahomes today is going to cost a lot more than Lamar Jackson today is. But they not the same in anybody's... Yet, measurement. Yeah, you're, you're, you're missing my point. So you saying if they if if they're both free agents today, mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes should make more money. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's not the situation. Patrick Mahomes signed his contract two or three years two ago. Two years ago, Lamar Jackson today, is signing his today. I'm not signing for the same thing that he signed for. I want more. You're not as good as him. Yeah, but you're not as good as him. But that's the market, though. I that's think the I market. <laughs> that's the market. But you comparing apples to oranges? No, no. no it's not. like how Kyler Murray, like all these dudes, getting his money because. This person signed that contract. This person signed that contract. They don't be running it up with just stats. They they look at everything. Like, the, the, how does the audience There's respond? A bar is this down, someone we can build? And look at this. In two or three years when Joey Burrow gets paid, the Lamar Jackson deal that he signs today is right. going to look like a fucking deal. Right. The market like, damn, he's up. only getting 45? That's why, that's why when Steph Curry signed his deal... 
who said something about it. And Braun was like, that ain't enough. Because Braun is in it, the minutia, to be like, in four years, y'all are... Y'all gonna make that back in a year. Yeah. He should be getting this plus ownership plus this, that, and the other. But mm-hmm. in the moment that he signed that deal, we was all like, damn, a basketball player getting baseball money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we was used to seeing. That's true. With, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. A-Rod and all of them mm-hmm. doing, mm-hmm. you know? But the Patrick Mahomes deal, that show you, that's the kind of in two or three years, that's gonna be the baseline for the new. That's gonna be a discount. It's already a discount. Yeah, exactly. So, it's, so to your argument, it's like, was, you talk, real deal? quick. I turned the TV off. Patrick Mahomes got a half a, a, half a, a half a billion? <laughs> a half a billion, yeah. 500 million. Oh, I forgot what the guarantee was, but it's still. It's it was still up high. there. Yeah, it was up there. But to your point, when you talk about stats and things like that, let's talk about Aaron Rodgers. Great quarterback. Mm-hmm. Only one chip. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And well, then you look at Tom but that's Brady the only, or but, Joe Montana or some of these other guys that got multiple chips. Mm-hmm. It always comes down to the chip because that's what keeps the machine running. No, that's not necessarily true. So y'all don't y'all talking about Pat Mahomes, who I don't even want to talk about unless you are alien like that. Mm-hmm. But for the rest of us, part part of what determines your value is what happens when I'm not here and who are your list of replacements. <laughs> yeah. Although the kid that comes off the bench is plays a similar game. He has this a is, similar this is, game this is the other and thing. style to him. Yeah, but he's not as good. He's not as Lamar Jackson. No, he's not. Good yeah, he's not as good. But he played like him. Hun- Hunley? Hun- Hunley? Hunley? When you're saying part of what determines your value, do Excuse you mean me? that in a way of if... I'm talking about an MVP. No, no, no. It, 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 I wanna, no, we're agreeing I wanna, with you. No, you I want to understand what you're saying. So you're saying part of what determines that value is if I'm off the field, we lose. So that's how valuable I am? Yeah, like when you... when you yeah, yeah. Are you replaceable? No, no, and, you? and who else is on the list to replace me? And that's what yeah. I thought of when you brought up Aaron Rodgers. Of course, Aaron Rodgers is greater than one championship. Right. Uh, he has multiple MVPs. We know who he is. But part of what he is is, oh, y'all drafted Jordan Love with our first round pick. Right. I'm seeing him every day in practice. This is who y'all think y'all could just hand some shit over to? Y'all seeing him every day and, in practice, too. And, yeah. <laughs> and I know what this offense looks like when I ain't standing here. here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. I agree with that. And especially in the case of the Ravens, they built that whole team around Lamar Jackson's style of play. That's right. That's why they had to go. The offensive line, the running game. That's why they had to go get a backup. They can play the same game. Because you know what? We always big up the quarterbacks that are great because they are the ones that are romanticized. But what this weekend in football showed me was them receivers – Oh, yeah. The the Devontae Adams is. Oh, yeah. I watched that little clip of that route. A million times of that little fake out round, and that, that that's the six. defender was lost. Okay, that's and, six. That, and that was a Sante Samuels kid, and he's nice. And he's nice. He's he nice. Nice. that defender yeah. was lost. He shook him out the boots. Uh, Tyreek Hill. No nigga, yeah. when you sitting out there with no Amari Cooper and none of them other niggas, and Dak was sitting out there like this is some bullshit. Amari Cooper runs routes. Aaron Rodgers was sitting there saying the same thing. Uh, this yeah. is some bullshit. Yeah. yeah. So again, like everybody gets their bread. You know who else was saying that? Bill Belichick. <laughs> Yeah, he's like what? Yo, they've been putting that. <laughs> one day they should have hired a uh, offensive coordinator and a quarterback. Yo, round of applause. My team is one and zero. One and zero. My team is one and zero. One and zero, baby. I'm one and zero. One and zero. One and zero. The one and zero boys. Hey, that game, that sixteen weeks. That, that game gave me high blood pressure, but that was, was, a, hell, that was a hell of a game. Still a fan. We one and zero, dog. Uh, Who's your team? I thought he's gonna. Who's be your funny. team? Dallas Cowboys. What time is it? Why wouldn't wow, it? Wow, it's just such, such a universal reaction. Why wouldn't it be? Dallas Cowboys. And Why you, wouldn't and you, it be? And you, you, was you, you said that proud, oh, see, though. Yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. I'm a Cowboys In your fan. mind. You, oh, you a Cowboys fan? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, well, sorry. Wait, y'all bonded over this bullshit? <laughs> Loser <Like>, bond. <laughs> y'all been arch, arch enemies for about 20 nah, minutes. No, we the Rebels. Cowboys, man. That's all right, bro. Yeah. When I was a kid, Tony Dorsett was my favorite Tug. player. This is the pro- I didn't ask. Tug. I didn't ask. I'm just telling you. I'm like, I, didn't I can ask see the look in your face. About- Tug, <laughs> and Pops is over there screw facing like I thought I, I was. Like this I was trying to talk about <laughs> my undefeated team and the gutsy call. Who, the Giants? That the- yes. Giants is trash, man. They're also undefeated. The Giants trash. are trash. But You're not undefeated. undefeated. You won one game. That's that, undefeated. Have they lost? That's undefeated. Omar. This is it simple, simple, simple. This Omar is the F, problem with what's undefeated. the win and loss New York record. Sports fans, yo. I'm, I'm, I'm Pittsburgh. Yo, you tell us what words mean. <laughs> undefeated mean they ain't lost. Y'all Fuck just, all of that. We don't have to unpack that. We, what I love is seeing uh, Brian DeBall tear Daniel do- Jones' ass up on the sidelines. I like him yeah, screaming yeah. in the huddle, do not throw the ball. I like looking at the game plan, being able to tell. That they, 
Do not trust this nigga throwing the ball. I love all of it. He's out of here. I'm about to say, how many, how many weeks you give him before uh, Tyrod starts? Oh, it won't be long. You think they're going to get... It won't be long. I don't think they're Tyrod is nice. It won't be long. Tyrod is nice. Tyrod, Tyrod is nice. Tyrod, Tyrod is nice. He's got to stay healthy. But what yeah. a gutsy yeah. call by the coach. I'm not even used to... I, I was watching Joe Judge coach all last season. Like, I'm not even used to seeing great coaching, coaching manifest on your team. How do guys like I that I feel the same way. Like that? <laughs> That Mike McDaniel looks good down there in Miami. Say what you it's want. A, it's a it's an R word. That Denver coach looks oh, horrible. There you go. There you go. What are, y'all, what are your Cowboys fans over here? No, no. I was just you say Joe football? Judge, and I'm like, how do it's just certain people? You like, how do they get those jobs? Yeah. Like, when there's so many other people that are qualified, that if you're gonna gamble on that, yeah. You know, especially sports now, it's like, yo, you this ain't. Back in them days, come on, boys, we're gonna no. This is you dealing with grown men who got to take care of their families and they putting their bodies on the line. You got to. It's a different mindset of how to coach. That's now, why. You know? That's Same why. Days, that's though. why I don't care about your different time argument when it comes to sports because these boys today went back there and said, "Yo, we're not playing the playoff game." <laughs> they they did shit like that. Hey, well, I don't care about your TV money, relationships, your networks. This is what happened. We don't like it. We won't play this game. And change, change soon comes. See, I think the NBA players took some of their leverage. They did. They I took, believe they that. Took oh, yeah. They Hell did. Yeah. I don't think it was just given to them. But I don't they think took. it was. And but that was my shit. thing that I said they, with they, Braun. They, they took Braun they took my shit. I know I'm him. So they can't blackball me out the NBA. I'm him. I make too much money for this organization, which gives me leverage. And Michael Jordan, at that one point in time, they said the nigga was responsible for like 20% of the United States economy back then. The fuck is you talking about? Yeah, but let me just say this. And this he could have really put his this, dick on the table. This is not defending Mike, but the one, again, different time in a sense of what's bronze back in is the Players Association. They got a lot of power. You know what I'm saying? As we see, let's go to the NFL. They don't have as much power True. yet. True. But in They're all, gone. Most They're of those guys go. are dudes that play. So it was like, yo, I crawl so you could walk. You know what I mean? Mm. And it's kind of the same mm-hmm. thing as what I'm saying. Like to me... Just to be fair to all parties, like, you know, MJ was an anomaly of that time. You know what I'm saying? And I'm as not taking up no... No, y'all not unpacking MJ again. Uh-uh. I want to allow... <laughs> no, we're not unpacking MJ. I was just, I was just countering, well, said, retorting. As far as what would you mean by that? <laughs> Yo, Omar, while you're here, um, how do you feel about New Jack City on Ice coming? You know what I mean? Oh, great question. Uh, I didn't know they was I doing that. I don't know if yeah. I should. Is that what LeBron got coming? About it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, LeBron, LeBron got some shit on the way. New Jack City on ice. <laughs> Yo, you put you know what's ice. funny? You put it on ice. Why not, man? It might not be on ice. But it's not. But why yeah, not? They're doing, to... doing a play. Yeah. They're doing a play. Yeah. They're doing a play. Yeah. It's traveling. They're doing a play. It's traveling. Yeah. Why Big, not? Big Daddy Kane treaches it. Shout to Tretch. Why not? Yeah. Tretch We can't watch Shakespeare forever. I hate True when I'm about to shit on something and then the people I like. Yeah, isn't it? shut up, nigga. Trust it. Bitch, I'm saying. And Kane. And Kane. Kane's and in Kane. the game. So, yeah. the Kane. Yeah. Why not, man? It's, we want to see. G Money in the tour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Our stories in different formats. Why not? You know? Why not? Like, one day there could be a. Paid in full on ice. A, or I was going to say, like, a, <laughs> a Joe Budden ride in Universal. You know what I'm saying? Just a couch. <laughs> like, the couch is the. Is the <laughs> that's the. Uh, Some Spanish girls going to come out. <laughs> With hookah. Hey yo, you go you gonna sit on the ride on the roller coaster like this? <laughs> yeah. And when you go in the dark tunnel, somebody's blowing Newports. <laughs> it's a big, it's a big Newport. Like, they'd be like, "Mommy, I'm scared." <laughs> yo, did y'all look see, his face. Look his face. Did, y'all, did y'all see that ride that got stuck up there in the air? Did I? the little big circle shit yo, that, that was like this? Funny in a different country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did yeah. you see the one that Did fell? The one that That's the one. one. Yeah, the oh, one that yeah, fell. The one yeah. That was horrible. The one that fell. Yeah, yeah. That shit looked fun. That did Yo, not look with fun. You? That, that shit ain't look fun at all. Look fun to me. It okay. Ain't look fun when they hit the ground and people was bouncing out the oh, ride. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, man, that's what's supposed down. to happen if something fall from real high out the sky. You're supposed to take a little bounce. You think this harness worked that good? <laughs> <laughs> take a little bounce. <laughs> wow, they all fun. survived. They got up and walked away. Like, oh shit, that's crazy. They all survived. They didn't all survive. Ain't nobody dying. Yes, they did. Who died? I don't want to make no jokes if somebody no. died. Yeah, I mean, I'm not ready to go. I didn't, yeah. I didn't, yeah. I didn't yeah. see I that one to go. death from that. Yeah, a bunch of people died on it. The ride, a bunch of people uh, did uh, not die on there. Yo, uh, we got to check. Because it. it's funny if the motherfuckers ain't die. If somebody died, yeah, if they died, then. 
<laughs> Damn. It's funny <laughs> Two dead, <laughs> dozens injured after flying amusement park ride splits mid-air. It's two mid people who lost their life. Yo. <laughs> so they go to jail. But soon. when you say dozens injured, that could be t- 10 of them is in critical condition. We don't know. But they ain't died, though. All right, well, maybe it didn't look so fun now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's clean that up. No, that, that didn't look so fun now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So you was, you was caramel just now. You wasn't light skin. That was caramel. <laughs> colorism. Hey, yo, dark skin niggas just be swearing yeah, like they color- popping, oh, yo. Colorism. Oh, man. Then the Bed Bath & Beyond uh, guy had enough. Oh, that was shit. crazy. That was, yeah. that was crazy. Yo, black be black people response to everything. It should be crazy, nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> no, or they'd be like this. The way the way you just did. They said money, they said money uh wife was there and he just walked past her in the room and just I was like, um million little, little things, million right? things yeah. Yeah, That's, yeah, that's crazy, man. You know, why, so you know why I love pop culture? Where did we get these stories from? How were we? They said money when they said <laughs> they <did. laughs> This was on. This was in the news. Yo, why do we believe that? Yo, they said he walked by his wife, kissed her. Like, I mean, O said it. How so. do we know that? Because <laughs> O said it. It was in the news blurb. Like, she <laughs> spoke out or some. I, I ain't. That's crazy, man. Wait, he walked by his wife and did she? Must she was in the crib. He the walked <laughs> by whatever room she was in. She said he just walked through and wasn't it that? Oh, like a million little things for real. He got, yeah. he got accused of some shit, right? I think he was scamming some people. They had like a, a multi-billion dollar suit or something like yeah, that coming. Yeah, he was, yeah. Feds was coming. Bezos got everybody shook. Like, hey, hey, <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, not too much of Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> That's gang, all right. <laughs> That's hey, gang. Hey, Bezos, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, low, His name is Mr. B to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he missed Mr. to be. <laughs> yeah, man, so Marion. <laughs> I'm with you. What, what you said about LeBron again? Let's advance that a little bit. Oh, you going man. up in space next what? time? You going in space next time? Uh, I would do it, probably. I would do it. Would you pay for it? No, I'm not paying to go up oh. here. He's, he's an employee. You don't got to pay. Yeah, I just you at least get a discount. Just keep looking up. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool up there. You just pay the meek of those. Yeah, no. Listen, fuck it. <laughs> Fucking Mykonos. Yeah, you ain't like Mykonos? I don't want to say that because then I'll sound like what it sounds like. Because I had a good time. I don't want that part to go just around. I had a good time. Did you expect more or something? No, I went out there and had a vacation. Like, I really relaxed. Like, I really ate good, gained weight, slept early, fucking ignored the phone, ignored work. Like, I really went out there and did that. But in terms of... I see, I could do that wherever. I'm that guy. Like... Mykonos is beautiful, but I can you can pick me up and put me somewhere else, and I'm gonna get that. Just be relaxed. When it was time to walk out the house, what? That's hard to believe from the dude who won't bust down six wings of fried rice in the hood. Yo, I don't, man. I gotta really work on on how I relate that. I don't understand why you don't understand that. Why would somebody want to continue to have to do that? That's that, not what I'm that saying. Was the point not what of that. Saying. Oh. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying there. But that's not like what you'll do it. That, that's what all I was that's saying. That's where we come from. Yeah, that's what, that's he's, what he's saying. We I, come from. I know. Yo, you but, got three dollars. I got two fifty. You got a dollar. We gonna put our money together and pool our resources, and we gonna all get equal the same amount. I know, of shit. but our experiences right. in the past tell me a little bit about how I want my experiences in the future to be. True. I don't want to fucking share <laughs> chicken <laughs> wings <laughs> and shrimp fried <laughs> rice <laughs> with niggas. <laughs> Keep going. All right, what's the end of that? Nah, what's some more shit? He do it for Mr. B. He do it for Double D. Look how y'all, <laughs> look, look, look how y'all paint niggas out to be. Y'all are horrible. Uh, what uh, else is uh, super important? You guys have unpacked capitalism. <laughs> Michael, Mike, Michael Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> uh, you know, capitalism war might be banned from this part for the rest of the time. I would, I would, I would appreciate that. Start using it in its proper oh, shit. context. Don't worry. You, oh, you, I'm good. No, you can go ahead. We got to get back to yeah, these guys. Niggas just come on round. Off, yo. Yeah, that's Everybody the new shit. shit. That's the new shit about space. You can pop in and pop, pop your out. ass. <laughs> uh, is there anything we need to look out for? Oh, yeah, man. My new book is coming out November 8th. It's called Nubia, The Awakening. Uh, Pre order is available now on Nubia. Uh, yeah, Nubia, okay. The Awakening. It's a young adult sci fi book, man. Okay. Oh, yeah. And um, so people could pre order it now, you know. 
Barnes and Nobles, Amazon, everywhere books are sold. You wrote it. Yeah. Yeah. Me and my co-author Clarence Haynes. And um I'm excited about it, man. It's that's it's, dope, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. money I met. Oh, yeah. that's money that came here. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh. No, that's uh uh Charles Murray. Charles Murray. Yeah, Charles yeah. Charles He's a film director. That's Shout out to yeah. Charles Murray. You'll meet Clarence. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, you nah, you got so, Charles yeah. Murray back. Y'all support, man. You know, let's run it up and um it's exciting project. Yeah. Yeah. Run them fucking numbers up on that book, you heard? Yeah. Facts. Yeah. Maybe right. watch Raising Canaan. Raising Canaan. Oh yeah, Stars. we ain't talk about Raising Canaan. Oh, that means it killed you, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> We having fun, man. It's, it's... <laughs> Yo, shout to uh, Patina Miller. Shout to you too, but Patina is a tour shout de force. Shout out to you too. <laughs> no, he's a tour de force. Black men just don't know how to go. No, no, no. Yo, Patina Miller. She's killing it. I'm watching fucking uh, Madam Secretary. Mm. And I'm watching Raising Canaan. And dog, they are <laughs> literally like this. Yeah. The characters. And that when I judge actors and actresses, that's what I'm judging on. They range. I picture you home watching Madam Secretary. <laughs> I, have a girl, I have a girlfriend. I didn't know. Oh, it was news, news to there me. There you go. You know what's crazy <laughs> about P is... She, See, he ain't trying to blame his girl on Madam Secretary. Right, you think I'm just home watching Madam Secretary? Yes. <laughs> yes, that is exactly I, what I, I ain't trying to hold you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Stupid. Bad P, boys P, of L.A. P just finished Wait, the run what? on Broadway, a uh, play called Into the Woods. And uh, we went to see it. And so when you're talking about that range, because that's a whole other world right there, the stage. And she's incredible, man. Damn. I, I'm having so much fun Patina working with Kane her. Came to mom. Y'all know she got the New York accent down pat. She got all of that shit down pat. And then the other show, you would think she was just a Harvard grad. Like, the way she speaks, it's, it's just night and day. Her mannerisms, everything are just night and day. So shout to her, because she's yeah. killing that shit. P's going to win an Academy Award one day. Probably several. I'm putting it out there, but for real, for real, she she she's amazing, man. She dope. Yeah, she's she amazing. killed it. Hopefully, Jimmy Kimmel doesn't lay on the ground while she's accepting her <laughs> she, award. She might stop. What are we doing? That's what he did to Quinta Brunson last night when she won. Oh, I didn't see the. I don't put weight into the trophies. Man. Oh, just cut the check. You know what I mean? Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't leave. Don't leave yet, nigga. I don't leave. Don't leave on. I don't put weight into the trophies. All right, now go ahead. No, no, go. no. That because that's a cut the check. I'm with him. It's a very simple thing. Oh, who who gave the come on? No, 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 wait, time out, time out, no, no, time out. What if you answer this right? We are. (laughs) (laughs) If you answer this like I think, hey, we are gone. Where you want to go? What about the trophies? (laughs) 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 It's not like a. You know it's a fair system when it's like the fe- let's talk sports. The athletes vote on who they think is the you know what I mean? Yeah. MVP because like, yeah. we all played with it's like nah, money's nice. You yeah. know what I mean? When you have people that's outside of that system like oh this that it just all these other things come into play so <laughs> Kind of goes back to the capitalism part. Yo, it's Omar, like, F, you've been a great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you cut me off? Yeah, no, no, no more capitalism. No, no, no. I'm just saying it's like it's relative. It's like a, taking a poll. A poll is only relative to who you ask. True. Yeah. Yep. Right. So you can manufacture that, Absolutely. and it's just like you know we. The, the, it should be a general thing where it's which equal across the board, but it's not. And let's acknowledge that. And this is no disrespect to anybody who wins or who has won because they all deserve that. They've all put in that work, but. You know, Y'all deserve that meaningless shit. For me, for me, it's about the people. You know what I'm saying? The love I get from the people, you know, male, female, like, you know, they might see me somewhere and they might get emotional about something or, yo, I, I saw this scene or this thing and that helped me get through this time because I was going through something. You just never know how your work can permeate through people's real lives. I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure you got Damn, that. I'm learning when that people, firsthand. People, people come up, yo, son, like that song mm-hmm. you did, such and such, yes. yo, that got me through, yo, and that means the world. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's all about just inspiring and motivating That's everyone to, to be their best self and to live their, their best life and figure it out because we all go through those those moments. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I want to continue that cycle and that, that means more to me then, you know what I'm saying? The trophies. But, yeah. Yeah. but them yeah. trophies get you that next level payout. That is true. You start saying y'all got mad Emmys. That's your man, Capital. Cap- yeah. Give yeah. me some more strength. <laughs> he going to find a way to get back to it. Yeah, Always. and I, there, I agree with him. I just, <laughs> hey, cut the check. Yo, what's that little hospital show you was on? Little. 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 Yeah, yeah, exactly. Little. You know what I'm saying? 
Come on, I ain't got to shine on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Love to y'all, man. I love the new setup. This is... um. Likewise. I'm going to be here more. I got to find my room in here. <laughs> Audience, yeah, nice. this is a pretty space. big space. Nice got some elbow room now. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. This Not is... so on top of each other. Pause. I'm digging it. This is impressive. Yeah, Bada, you had a whole pause moment earlier. Another one? Another, yeah, quite a few of those. Yeah, when he was there. Yeah. That was bad. That was crazy. Like, he remembered it. That was... Yeah, no. <laughs> we was all over there like, yo, yeah. hell. You was like the little man. Yeah, swallowing swallowed the, up, was swallowing like, the <laughs> small man or something. How your brain even think of that? <laughs> <laughs> I've never even heard that before. See how I stirred the pot? It's normally his job. Oh, oh thank you. This guy's oh, crazy. Yo. Yo. You don't have to leave. Nah. You can just hang out. <laughs> this guy, yo. Here. Here. Yeah, go that way. Don't fuck with the cameras. He'll come out here. No, 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 no. Go. He's there. Nah, nah, go. Nah, nah, Just go. Yo, Erickson's going to have a heart attack. Yeah, yeah. what? <laughs> that little thing that he loved here. Oh. That little thing right there. Yeah, nice. And it's funny. Everybody keep walking that way. Yeah. Now, we still going to get ropes. Like the club. The velvet ropes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I definitely move the velvet ropes out of the way. Move. <laughs> that's what the fuck you talking about? Yeah, that's challenge accepted. You see that rope. I mean, I'm going uh, that way now. Just because it's there. Yeah, that rope ain't never stopped me. No, no, no. no. That rope made you want to go that <laughs> No, that way. incites the ride. That's what I'm, I'm telling you. Challenge accepted. It's got crazy. All right, so we have the Purge Act. What? The Purge Act. Purge this is a movie. Scary. Life is now taken for movies. Uh, in passing the Purge Act, Illinois became the first state in the country to abolish cash bail, defined as payments for jail release for arrested people who are still waiting for their cases to be heard in court. While the safe... Safety Act was signed into law by government J.B. Pritzker in February 2021, and many portions of it are already in effect. The no-cash bail policy will take effect on January 1, 2023. The no-cash bail policy is part of the Pretrial Fairness Act, a piece of legislation. What is this word? Ensconced. 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 Y'all smart. Yeah, I don't know what that should say. Ensconced? <laughs> Ensconced, yeah. All right, ensconced. What does that mean? Built in, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Ensconced yeah, within the good. Safety Act that creates new processes for pretrial release and detention decisions. Ahead of its implementation, it had faced opposition from Republicans. All right, no shit. Uh, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Criminals could no longer be detained or required to pay, required to pay bail in order to be released for violent offenses, including second-degree murder, Drug-induced homicide, arson, aggravated battery, kidnapping, and more. Okay, let me read this again make sure I understand. Criminals can no longer be detained or required to pay bail in order to be released. Oh, shit. That's not Jersey. <laughs> That's not Jersey. Mm -hmm. No. All right, somebody tell me what this means. So basically, um, a big lawman from the state of Illinois... <clears throat> released a uh, he had a press conference mm -hmm. in which that quote that you have right there mm -hmm. came from him and he called it the quote unquote purge act and he said that um, as of January 20 uh, January 1st 2023 um, we're gonna do this mass exodus of criminals back on the street that are basically currently in prison awaiting trial that's fucked up to call that the purge act Your word no that's what they do though <laughs> You that's selling, you selling, selling mm -hmm. the fear. You selling the fear. That's what they doing. Copaganda. Yeah. So basically, um, Illinois and most states in the country, if you get locked up or accused of a crime, you are going to get a bail set. So that disproportionately affects people of a lower income bracket, mm -hmm. and which typically sometimes are black and brown people. Mm -hmm. So... Khalif Browder mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. was fucking 17 years old. They were poor. Mm -hmm. He got accused of stealing a book bag. C couldn't he, make the bill. He sat in jail for fucking three years over a book bag because they kept pushing his trial back because they couldn't find the only witness had moved to Mexico. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And so he couldn't make bail. He yeah. couldn't make bail. His family didn't have money. He couldn't make bail. The boy sat in solitary confinement over 800 days. As a juvenile, but based on that bail system that was already in motion. Tell me why this is receiving backlash. It's receiving backlash. No, this is getting praise because okay. the, well, the wording. I'm sure there's some people that are backlash. I, I did and see backlash. some people. Yeah. So yeah. the wording is the Purge Act 
We letting the murderers on the street. We letting the rapists on the street. We letting the this on the street. We letting the that on the street. They have a point, right? But at the same time, in the United States of America, you are innocent until proven guilty. So if I'm innocent until I'm proven guilty, why the fuck am I sitting in jail for two years until y'all give me a trial? Yeah, well, the only reason I'm in jail is, is I don't have the money. I don't have the money to make bail. <clears throat> That's it. But I could be innocent. It's motherfuckers that sit in jail for, for months. You lose your job. You lose your house. You might lose your car. You might lose all of these things to go to trial. And some evidence comes up that you wasn't even they, where, you, where they said you were. I could have mm -hmm. never killed these people because they got me on camera across town in Wendy's buying a motherfucking number seven. But I sat in jail for six <clears throat> months, eight months, how many other months, which disrupted my life. The state is not going to give me that money back to put my life back on track. Mm -hmm. They're going to say, oh, we sorry. Man. And you going about your merry motherfucking way. You when it. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So it, it's, it's a... I understand. And yeah. it's motherfuckers who did it, but I had the money to get out. True. Yeah. That's true too. And that's where the, the... That's true, too. Like, yeah, I did it. But, you know, okay, what's my bell? Cool. 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 That's true, too. I didn't even think about that piece. But, again, if we go on by the American justice system, I'm innocent until proven guilty. I shouldn't be sitting in jail because that's a punishment. How the fuck y'all punishing me if I'm innocent until proven my guilty? Court. Exactly. So, they are worded how the Republicans mm -hmm. and the Democrats and all politicians have been, again, for years, selling fear... As a campaign tactic, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Bill Clinton, Ronald Reagan, all of them yeah. came up with slogans during their campaigns sure. to sell fear, to get elected. Mm -hmm. But that selling that shit disproportionately affects us. Like you see that, that stat right there. <clears throat> According to the Center for American Progress, three out of five people sitting in U.S. jails have not been convicted of a crime. 60%. That's crazy. 60%. They ain't even been convicted yet. Mm -hmm. But you're in jail, which is... Punishment. Like said, that's the punishment for the crime. Sixty mm percent -hmm. of people in jail have not been convicted yet. That's crazy, dog. Yes, yeah, but it ain't crazy to me because back to that c word, dog. Motherfuckers make money off of people oh, yes. sitting in jail. True. You have a quota to fill mm -hmm. of people for the jails. We just saw the two um, Pennsylvania judges got their ass cracked. They had to pay millions of dollars. And now one of them, I think, got 28 years or some shit. They was in bed with the contractors to build prisons. So they had to send more kids to prison to justify mm -hmm. the need for more space. Of course. That's fucking sick. You get, that's some psycho shit. That's sick. So now the contractor gets the opportunity. They own the land to build another prison there. We're going to get millions and millions and millions of dollars, plus the state funding and all that other shit. It's a, it's a, it's a cash cow. I get it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're championing this then. This is great. I mean, <laughs> don't tell me all that shit you just said. No, I'm, I'm on it. No, 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 no. To me. I'm on. I'm on. A, I'm, I'm 85 percent of this. I'm with it. But it's it's definitely some shit where I might have killed a motherfucker. Now they gonna let me out, right? Because it's not. It might not be first degree murder. They gonna let me out. Now I could torment his family. I could torment the witnesses. I could do a whole bunch of other shit. So it's definitely a scale. But see, it, but if you're saying 60% of the people that are in jail haven't been convicted, you got to rock with the heavier side of the scale. If, so my, I'm my, with my, it. My, my, my thing with that is, yeah, I might have killed this motherfucker. <clears throat> if I had a bell, I could have made bail and still got out and tormented his family and did X, Y, and Z. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, th this is still good because the motherfucker that did something... He might not have had the money for bail. Again, like you said... Khalif Brown and shit like that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's motherfuckers that was sitting. I'm on the team. I'm on, I'm I'm on, on the team. I just see I'm on the side some of, of the opposition and I see yeah, where yeah. they might Yeah, stand. it sounds good to me. Yeah, I see where they might stand. Where do you gentlemen fall on the, the selling of Oblock? Selling of what? Oblock. Oblock. The um, Chicago. Park, Parkway Gardens um, housing development oh, in okay. Chicago. Who who rep Oblock? Uh, Dirk okay. King Vaughn. No, not Dirk. Not um, Dirk. Oh. But Chief Keith. Okay. I think for me, <clears throat> I think it's an educational moment. I think how us as black people, oftentimes, we rep, quote unquote, these neighborhoods. Mm. The owners of the neighborhoods don't give a fuck about you, your family, your mother, your nobody. Mm. And it just goes to show you all the millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of drugs that's being sold in these neighborhoods. We don't own a motherfucking thing. 
And the second that these white people tell you, get your black ass out and move, you got to go. And watch what's going to happen with O Block. They're demolishing it. They're going to demolish it. And, and some, some fly luxury, shit going to come. Yeah, some luxury high rise. Some fly shit going to come. That you niggas can't afford. And guess what? You, could, you niggas could have bought that shit and gentrified it yourself. Oh, bro. You could have. <laughs> All right, yo. All right, fam. You asked me my opinion, not. How, this gonna, how much old block sold for? I don't know. What's selling for? What's the asking price of old block? All right, some, some spanky. Yeah. I'm not saying necessarily that those particular projects or those particular buildings. I'm just, just saying. Just the concept. That, yeah, the, the, mm-hmm. conceptually oh, or theoretically, yo, it don't got to be the projects, but houses from our neighborhoods, mm-hmm. it'd be houses. Mm-hmm. That niggas been around a whole entire existence. And they, they be shooting at niggas and shooting niggas on. They could have bought them and renovated the neighborhood. This is what I don't respect. Whole and, I explain, and I probably ain't supposed to say this here. <laughs> well, fuck it, we in Jersey now. There we go. <laughs> we <got> Jersey energy. <laughs> no, we, we in Jersey now. <laughs> Come and get this is the part know. that I don't like. I want to know if when they sell that shit and put up the big high rises and all the white people go in there, I want to know if the real niggas is still going to stand across the street and Never. torment every last one of them. Never. Nah. Cause what I, but that makes me angry. Why? This the shit I fight with you and Corey about all the time. Tell me why you are. Tell me why I make you angry. What do you fight with me and Corey about all the time? Keep going. I'm going to dress up. No. Not now. <laughs> fuck is he talking about? I said, fuck are you. You yeah. tell me what you fight with us about and I'll continue to prove my point. What I'm telling <laughs> you is this, right? We have the ability to change these things. <laughs> Stop, man. I didn't say nothing. Because bed style. They got so, what is it? Sobo now. Sobro. Sobro. So, Sobro? South Bronx. South Bronx, where they went into some of the worst neighborhoods in fucking America. I see it in DC. I see it in Baltimore. Like, yo, they'll go into some of the worst neighborhoods in America. Be clear. I understand they got money in a system that's going to help them. <laughs> They be on each ass. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just saying. But, yo, dog, we have motherfuckers with money in our neighborhoods. They mind don't be there to, to change these neighborhoods. Like, two white kids get hit on that corner. We want a stop sign. No, fuck that. We want a stop light. The stop light is coming. We won't ask for the fucking stop light. You get what I'm saying? Like, we just take whatever is given. They fight for what they want. And I think that's where one of the biggest disparities is. We be like, yo, it's always been like this. We can't do nothing. Yo, it's just going, this just the way it is. I don't really subscribe to that. So when you say, yo, is they going to be tormenting the white folks? Fuck no, because guess what? They going to know their place. We better leave these white people alone. They going to give us 100 years. We can shoot a black motherfucker all day. We going to leave these motherfuckers right here alone. Cause we not they, you know what I'm saying? We know yeah, better. They don't play that. <laughs> Snigger, man, it's good, Scott. Yo, you just asked the question. Damn it, yo. Oh man, yo. Jesus, yo. You just asked the question. Go to an escape room. Uh, <laughs> like, can you go play laser tag? Throw darts. Get the Monopoly board. Anything you don't want that. Anything fun, yo. But no, I'm, yo, I'm, can we get Ish some fun? I thought you was going to leave all that uh, Malik kicking knowledge shit in Parks's. <laughs> Yo, Joe, let that ride for a second, man. Yo. I don't know if you saw the tweet. They're shutting down the Middle East, man. Oh, yeah, I did. Our homegirl hit me and told Middle me. Middle East oh, right. in Boston. Lived at the Middle some East, of, man. Some of our best shows. <laughs> yeah. Some of my favorite moments. I'm thinking these motherfuckers talking about real Middle East. That is the real Middle East. Oh, yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> just got, just got. <laughs> <laughs> this guy can't even help himself. <laughs> Rest in peace to the Middle East, the club, uh, the club. The club uh. <laughs> Many great moments in there. Shout out to the fans. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> hey, some good Ethiopians in there, huh? There's some good Ethiopians in there. And Dirk and India broke up, allegedly. Oh. Well, we were on Chicago news. Okay. You saw Dirk post? <laughs> I, what did the post say for the audience? I suppose he's going to be mine forever. <laughs> that reminds me. I meant to ask y'all in that Jordan Pippen topic. Oh, here we go. <laughs> if y'all would have been mad if you was Pippen, if you'd have felt away. About which part? About my ex-wife running around. Or, 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 or you have the way about what she's been doing. When when I left, once once I leave, I left, and I don't care. 
Yeah. Nah, it'll still be a little tight. Uh, no. I won. Okay. Uh, yes. Now, what did we just bring up? The pussy's so, mine yeah. forever. Yeah. Ah, How do y'all mine feel mine. about that? Come it's, on, tell the truth. It's not. Tell it's the truth. Definitely not. Okay. It's not. You feel like it's that? Ego. For, you feel like that for a little minute. Look, look, look at your man. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, he's gone enough. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, it's, it, it ain't. Niggas like to think it is. It feel good. It, it help you sleep at night thinking like, yeah, yeah, I can still get that back whenever I want. But in the meantime, the it's for rent. It's always for rent. <laughs> she owns the pussy, not you. You never own the pussy. You might think you do. She might let you think you do. Second, she want to get that pussy to somebody else and not give it to you. She can do that. Or your kid. <laughs> I'm waiting for your response. <laughs> oh, I agree with him. Pussy ain't yours forever. You crazy? You crazy as hell. Mr. Super Dick? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have that. <laughs> well, what's your take, sir? <laughs> um, well, he can't disagree with this. Not, not, let, let him go. <laughs> let him go. I'm 80-20 with dirt, my nigga. I am 80-20 with dirt, man. How? Yeah, please. <laughs> you can do your little neck dance all you want, <laughs> goddamn it. Yeah, let them get comfortable, because I got to hear this. I just think that... um, <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question, because I don't know enough about them. Do you think, honestly speaking... Any of your ex-girlfriends, any of them, from fucking 20 years on, 20 years old to now, if you put forth the effort, you can get them back? Yes or no? Be honest, too. Like, don't say it for the sake of. Why the hell would I want them bitches back? <laughs> You're not answering my question, bro. What is he talking about? You're not answering bitches my question. Bitches cause me heartache and pain and let misery me, let me, let and let suffering. Me I, 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 let me ask you. You think I'm going even, back to fight, trying even, to recruit them? That's not what I said. I, 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 I didn't say if it would I got you. you I got me. you. I get your question. No, ass ice. <laughs> Don't ask me nothing. Look, I knew that <laughs> motherfucker. I knew he wanted me back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, he going off. He had, <laughs> hey, that's Jersey. That's Jersey. Hey, no, he had good bad. Jersey. He had good bad. Damn, you sound good as hell over here. Thank you. hear that thing, Yo, go ahead, yo. Even if he did, or even if somebody you could you could think that, but I said that's ego thinking. Yo, I, if I want, if you I put the effort in, let you me didn't, go ahead. The question you asked him was if he put the effort in any of them exes, do you think he could get them back? Right. I'm telling you, that is ego. Because even if you believe if I put the effort in, I can get her back. She gotta want you back to go back. Where's her right. decision? So it's her pussy. I'm, I'm with ice. Cause you can put I don't, all that. I don't, I don't like, see how we have to. Okay, yeah, this. I don't get what you. I don't get it. At the end of Wait, the day, but, if but she is, ain't, but get, if she ain't going, because I'm, she I'm ain't with going. you on. If I put my, if I put my shit on, if I get back in my bag, I could get somebody that I want. But that still don't make her mine. That's all I'm saying. And she still got a. And not for nothing, yo. Seriously, I'm keeping a real in Jersey. Uh oh, the shit these rap niggas is trying to get off on these girls ain't not going for you, yo. <laughs> not today. <laughs> I've heard some of the stories about what's going on out there. That nigga Neo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that boy, he lucky that I wasn't so well informed when you said it here. Man. That nigga is a menace to society. <laughs> Why are you looking like you agree with him? Well, like I agree with who? Neo. Told the court, oh, hey, he told the court, I want our, that, that is our business home. That's our family home. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out the family home. Yo. All right, just all moving right. On. Yeah, come on, just come on, on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just move on. All right, all right. I don't know enough about it. It's like, cool. No, 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 you oh, good. It's cool. Oh, no, it's all good. It's good, homie. It's cool. It's good. <laughs> Niggas a munch. All right. <laughs> Crazy. That's anti money. Niggas a month. Talking, nigga. niggas a month. <laughs> oh, All right. Sorry, what man. else is here? What else is here? T.I.'s son got arrested. <sighs> I got a thing. I don't talk about people's family and yeah, their kids. I'm leaving it alone. No, I like what T.I. Right. said. You heard what T.I. said? No. Oh, I want to argue about this. Oh no, I love. I heard what he said. I love what he said. I thought that nigga was crazy. What did he say? Somebody tell me what he said. Not me. I've been off the internet. T.I. said basically he gonna learn. Yeah, he said, "Yo, it's nothing I could do at this point." I've done everything I can. I've given him every advantage. Me and his mama have tried to steer him in the correct path. And guess what? Sometimes a soft head, what is it? A hard, hard head, head make, make a soft. soft ass. 
and you gonna learn. And at some point, nigga, it wasn't nothing that your mother or your father could have done to Joe Button. Joe had to learn life lessons. And guess what? The streets teach better than your parents sometimes. So it's you know what I'm saying? Like that's what has to happen. I stand I agree with him. Yes, come on. All right, bro. These niggas, they be cap when these when 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 parents say that. I don't know what he meant. I'm talking about what he said. I agree with the sentiment he expressed. Okay. Your behavior can't be indicative of it, is all I'm saying. I think every parent has said, All right, I washed my hands of it. I did I did all I could do. But they still be there as parents. Yeah, I'ma still <laughs> They don't disappear. Both things no, both yeah, things could be equally true. Yes. Yo, nigga, 100%. I'm here. I'm here for you. Whenever you need me, I'm right here. I don't want to hear I'm, what I don't want to hear what more can I do as a parent. I don't. That's just me. No, he I'm not telling he's not saying I'm not that. talking about him and his kids. No, he's not saying that. He's saying, yo, dog, after you become grown, I can't chain you to the fucking radiator and make you stay out the house. I can't you, save you, basically. You sneaking yeah. out the house at nighttime to go get in some shit, after a while, I'm not losing no more sleep. I tried to keep you in this house. You know what's out there. I've explained to you what's out there in the wee hours of the night. But they don't know what's out there. They think they know what's out there. But I'm new. I do. That, you as the dad, Yo, dog, you know what's out you there. You do. So look, as T.I. No, 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 I disagree with that. As T.I. being that. as well versed um, as he is in various facets of life, bro, I'm telling you what's out there. That ain't enough. You not going to believe me? Cool. You going to see for yourself. I disagree with it. I do. I don't. It sounds logical. It sounds ra- rational. True. But the second that something happened to my kid out there, I'm going I'm to be up here. Something that he, my kid can't come back from, I'm going to be in the house saying, damn, I wish I could have done more. What more could I have done? That's the thought that's, that I'm going to wrestle with for the next X amount but of you, years. But you might get an answer when you so ask yourself so then that. Why, so then why don't I just apply that same effort before that happens to my kid? But, and again, but after, I am not no, when a kid, talking about... T.I. No, we talking in general. Kid. We off, off T.I. I don't talk I'm talking about, about people, person, kids, and their parents and stuff. We Parent, 18-year-old child. At, after a certain point, now they're 21. You've been telling them the same exact shit for three years. Don't go out the house after 12. You go to sleep, niggas sneaking out the window, getting all types of shit. At some point, my nigga, they not going to listen to you. I understand powerlessness. You get what I'm saying? And so now... I can't be up every night. I got to go to work. So you know what happens? I'm going to tell y'all what happens. And this is, again, not on them. Just mm -mm, blanket, general. Your parents save you so much coming up. And and whether it be I'm connected here so I can make some shit go away. And you you tend to not believe in consequences. That's true. It's like, ah, dog, I hear you. But you know what? If it, like you said, if something happens... Pops is going. Things pops going. Pops going. Pops going to do what he got to do. Point. He's right. And you walk. You you grew up with that mentality your whole life. Mm-hmm. Every time you got in trouble, parents was there. Parents got you out of it, so you don't really fear any real consequences of trouble. Or my parents were there and bailed me out of shit my whole life, and I see what type of upbringing I had, so I rebel against that. True. It don't have to just go that way. No, that's true. E- either scenario, but, you still are powerless as a parent in that scenario. Either scenario, either yours or ISIS, somebody is still powerless as a parent in that scenario because the world is going to teach you some shit I can't. How many times does y'all kids need to be arrested before you stop bailing them out or stop answering the phone? There's no amount of times. Yeah, there ain't never. I'm going. Ever. What the hell? What I'm telling you is you don't have to turn off your parenthood. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me tell you that your dog, I, I can't tell him what to do no more. Here, check it out. You know, we hold, let hold, me hold, just hold, reply hold, 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 hold. to him. No, fuck go, with go. you. Let me reply to him before I forget. And when I announce this on the internet, it looks like, or it could come off to some people, like I'm relinquishing some part of parenthood. I I heard what he said. I'm not talking about him. Oh no, I'm just saying. So I don't, I don't, I don't think that that was expressed. I think he's saying. Fam, it's nothing I could do. At this do no point, more. you're gonna have to learn. You gotta learn on your own. At some look, I'm here. And, and that don't mean I wash my hands with you. Yeah. And that's what I was trying to say. Like, my mom, y'all, y'all know we had it inside, outside, all that mm-hmm, shit we had. Mm-hmm. Y'all know how I where I stood and how I came up. My moms used to always say, yo, listen, if you go out there and get yourself in some shit, I can't save you. I'll come visit you. 
I'll still be there for you. I'm still going to love you. There's nothing you can do that will make me change those things. But. Sat him down for the next 19 years. 27, 27 of them. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> hey, guess what? Ain't been to jail either. Hey, learn Yo, them. listen. Hey, hey, run my back. Hey, run my record. We just came off of the bell reform, right? Once them niggas put them cuffs on you, I don't give a fuck who you are. Once they put them cuffs on you, dog, you in their custody. I can't but, save you. But. I can't now, save you. Now, now, nah, that's not all the way true because right. now. When you dealing with. Certain notable names. Sometimes, sometimes that, that plays a part, and it could and run that, out. And that's what he's saying. And exactly, fam. Once they get you behind that motherfucker, dog. When I went to Rikers, all right? Rikers was different than Jersey. In Rikers, my nigga, it might be two days before you even go upstairs. Your family won't know where you are. You won't get no phone call yet. None of that shit has happened in Jersey. When you get locked up, you're gonna get a phone call soon. And Rikers, my nigga, until you, they, they give you that number where you can start dialing out, nigga, your family don't even know where the fuck you are. You could have got poked up by them. So what you saying is not applicable then. I'm saying is. You get what I'm saying? No, like no, no, sometimes, no. my nigga, yes, well, I can't help you. I'm talking about notable. I understand. Where the cuffs don't even get put on you. You see these kids. You, it's not always a I didn't say always. It's always I'm a cop that's sometimes. an asshole that says, Absolutely. I don't give a fuck who your mother is. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm saying there are, when you're dealing with notable people, especially with ties to the community, shit like that, mm -hmm. they tend to bend the other way a lot. True. He, now, now I'm putting it back on him now. Pause. He might have benefited from that True. coming up. So if you benefit from that enough times coming up, you tend to think that that's going to continue forever. Mm -hmm. I am untouchable. I don't have to, do, I could do whatever, I could wild out, I could say whatever I want to say because mm -hmm. nothing has ever happened to me. That's true. I just think it's a life lesson. Yeah. Life is going to teach you something that your parents just can't, yep. can't do nothing about. Parks, you think the Black Lives Matter dude stole that $10 million? I don't know if I know the answer to that question. That's a good one right there, boy. <laughs> get that man, get that man some tap shoes. He tap, he oh tap, 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 Hey, you can take Parks out of Queens. <laughs> Still Parks. Can't take the Queens out of Parks. God damn it. Oh, man. That's funny. Yeah, this guy did that shit. He did it? Yeah, yeah he did that shit. <laughs> yeah, and took more than that. Yeah, he <laughs> that's like, oh, that's what they, 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 they know about the 10. He threw that little hashtag. I just start catching like, oh, I got, I got something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy crazy. Yo. Uh, Black Lives Matter Grassroots is suing an executive of Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation for allegedly stealing $10 million in donations. In the lawsuit filed last week in Los Angeles, Grassroots accuses this guy, uh, the leader of Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation. I, I don't care about that of siphoning millions of dollars from the group into his own personal piggy bank. Well, yeah. <laughs> I thought that's what we was doing. <laughs> see, see why I'm fucking... Wait, ain't I, ain't I black? <laughs> don't, don't, My don't, lives don't matter. Don't I matter? <laughs> see, that's why I don't fuck with pork, yo. <laughs> I failed to see the uh, correlation, but I mean... The the fuck it, I'm with it. I'm, I'm, yeah, with, I mean, him. Yeah. I'm with him, fuck it. Yeah, no, he's right. He's right. <laughs> What is he? I don't. I don't get it. Oh, piggy, piggy bank. bank, pork. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. No, no, no. Take that. God. Take that shit yeah. back. Yo. Yeah, take it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We take that back. You out there on your own now, nigga. I believe he just did that bullshit. <laughs> Had me and Parks riding. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh little. man. Yo, Yo he is crazy. Yeah. Son. I thought Surf was sitting here for a minute. Oh, uh, what else? 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 <laughs> Y'all ain't getting off the hook that easy, Jules. What up? Jewel settles it for. Oh yeah, Aerie Spears, Aerie Spears and Tiffany Haddish with the little freaky, uh, freaky, uh, freaky sketch. Did y'all watch that shit? No, I didn't watch that shit. You watched it? I did. How was it? It was, was weird. Was it funny at all? No, no. Did you see where it could be funny no. in a different time? I, no. Yes, I did. Different, different time. The way shit. Yeah, I could see where they were trying to go with that. What time? Twenty years from now? Uh, no, I'm talking about in the past. Never. You watched it? Ish. I can see where they were trying to go. It was a lot of just, but still, it was creepy though. I think I see what they were trying to do. 
Well, could y'all explain it to somebody who didn't so see it? So basically what happened was Tiffany Haddish was like a mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, real and, busy. And real Ari busy. Spears was an uncle. uncle. But the way they had him dressed up, he was like the the mischief mischievous uncle. You know what I'm saying? The one that... Uncle creep. You know, yeah, uncle, uncle dope uh, that stayed in the bullshit like mm-hmm. him, right? And she would be like, Uncle such son, yeah, I got, I'm about to leave. I'm going to go to the club. If anything go wrong, just call me. And she would just leave the son. And he'd be like, oh, yeah. I don't want to hear Then there was another clip where she would leave the daughter. And the daughter might be seven. You know what I'm saying? So the overall premise was, as parents, you got to watch who you leave your kids with. But they got a little graphic with it. Like, a couple of the clips, he was in the tub with the boy, rubbing his back. I, I, I'm cool. This is, yeah, like, it, it, was, it went anymore. another way. It's fine. You, you, I don't even know why you would right. do that if he was uh, Barry then, Spears. I'm not Especially. defending it. Like I said, it was there was weird comedy 10 years ago, 15 years ago. I, I know. I've seen a lot of it. And they were, try, it would, they were trying to make it creepy yet ha-ha at the same time but it's a serious it's some real serious shit that really be happening so that's where it was like dog you can't really play on that one like he, yeah you can't the, make the, the, comedy the uncle about sitting that. there reading the paper and then he cut two holes he had two holes I so, need. He, so he's looking through the paper at the kid while he's just sitting there playing with toys and no stuff the like kid that. is sitting there in his under rules yeah and, it's under and he's rules. looking at the little boy butt like this through the paper it's, it's, no and, matter how many uh, times I keep saying I don't want to, and then they, no, and then they flip this shit. Throw at more end. descriptions at me. And so then, no, yeah. so then they took it further. No, we don't need to know the further. <laughs> no, I want to give no. you the severity oh, okay. of the shit, so it don't come across as weak. So they even took it. So they had about three scenes where the uncle was cutting the, the holes in the paper, yeah. staring at the kid. Yeah. The last scene, the little boy cut holes in the paper, and now he's staring back at the uncle. Kind of after he done been touched or molested or whatever the case may be. That now the little boy is on some mental shit and he looking at the uncle now through some... Okay. For the last (laughs) time. (laughs) Don't want to hear nothing else. Please, okay, y'all, please stop going further into this nasty shit. But no, it was... was, was Disgusting. Yeah. Creepy as shit. All right, so now the sister who's older now, the, 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 the young boy is still a minor, but the sister is older now. And she's the one who I think is is they saying that they mentally tapped out because or they mentally going through some issues based on the skits. Yeah, whatever y'all pay me back then, I need I need a lot more. Yeah, yeah basically. And, I'm not. And both of them are speaking. Both of them are speaking. And Aerie Spears was, is coming is on record saying this is nothing more than a shakedown. Tiffany Haddish is saying this is a legal process now, so I can't comment on it. All I can say is that that video was disgusting, and I didn't see the humor in it. Aerie is saying you will not shake me down. Ari Spears don't have the PR team, mm-hmm. nor the spanky that Tiffany Haddish has, nor the future, future. Mm-hmm. in the entertainment space. She's she's on the brink of stardom. She's a star. No, she's a she's star. star. She's a star. She is. She is. She is. She, she hosted right. fucking. She on the brink of superstardom, right? With and with her team that's already in place. She hosted she's, one of the award shows. Yeah, she's a star. So I, I'm agree. Yeah. I agree with you. So she's going to put out what, even if she feels it's a shakedown, I feel it's a shakedown. I still think whoever directed the film, um, the the skits and all that shit is disgusting and it's nasty and it was done in poor taste. I don't think that Ari Spears and Tiffany Haddish, um, they were playing a role. Yo, sometimes I'm okay with a shakedown. Sometimes the shakedown is perfectly acceptable. Yo, y'all paid me or my mom a couple hundred dollars for this back in 2002 or whatever. Nah. Yeah. No. And this is fucked up. And you know it's fucked up. No, nah, and y'all and you're up, 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 up. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple more dollars. Who are you shaking down? <clears throat> I don't know. Whoever wrote it, directed it, everybody. produced it. Yeah, everyone. everybody, everybody, yeah, everybody. Okay. And if not, it's going out. We're gonna bring it back up. See, that's the other thing I don't like. Like those are great questions. Who wrote it and who produced it? Yeah. Why aren't they? Ain't no press Why aren't they under fire as well? You, you, because there's they no... could be potentially, but they may not be mm-hmm. as pop- popular mm-hmm. or. Um, have as much notoriety so, as the two people. It's, it's the same thing when 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 niggas want to attach mm-hmm. your name to something and or a clip or something like saying your name garners you certain press. That's true. Putting these names in here, if they just said the director this that and the third, that should get swept under the rug because we don't know these people. Yeah, it wouldn't even have made press if it wasn't yeah. Tiffany Haddish involved. We need them. Yeah, that's true. And don't get me wrong, it's fucked up. So, yeah, but still, see, I disagree. I, you need them. If you put me in your little kinky sketch when I'm a minor, I'm coming back to get some money Facts. when you get older. All right, so sue yeah. your mother and sue your father. Because the mother and the father had to sign off on that shit. 
So where does the accountability come in for the parents? Fuck out of here. Sue your mother and your father, nigga. I can't speak to that because I don't know about that. So my mother and my father, they ain't worth what y'all worth. I know. So your mother and your father, they, they could potentially lose too. What, what, what sometimes happens is we put the public, me and Ice could do some shit and somebody could sue you potentially, right? Because you got more money than Ice and I, so you might settle just to make the dust go away. You feel what I'm saying? But whomever, and again, I said this shit is disgusting, so please don't... F- they're going to do it. Yeah, changing yeah, my yeah. words. No, go what I'm saying is, no, dog, no. as a minor, your parents sign all contracts in your stead. Mm-hmm. In their parents' defense, though, this was in 2000-something. I wouldn't this give is- a fuck when it was. Could have been the 80s. Could have been the 70s. Your parents dis- signed that shit. Your parents... They might I- not have known. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that we do that today. Like, sometimes your parents could have made a mistake or not have known or been without information or been pitched some shit and went for it. Yeah. And this is where you flip-flop. How? I'm about to tell you, because any other time you'll say, yo, you got pitched some shit and you went for it, now you got to suffer that. That's what your stance is sometimes. I'm just looking at that. First, it says it was 2013, and it says that they were approached that the commercial was produced by Haddish and Spears. So if y'all the producers too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Run mine. Easy money. Easy Run money. Run oh, mine. yeah. Easy money. Run mine. Sit right there. Sit right there. Is that the rim? Yeah. Pay up. Yeah, I wish I'd have caught you on, on Man TV still. I'd have really got paid. <laughs> yeah, it worked. Run it. Just run it. I was coming in here to kill Ari Spears for something, when, for something totally different before all this came out. Like, I was coming to kill him over that Lizzo shit. Mm-hmm. I was oh, what'd he do? He just woke up one day and felt like talking a whole bunch of shit about Lizzo. Oh. Like you on know Instagram is, or some though? shit? It's a couple of them. On Vlad TV, on oh, okay. YouTube, on Instagram. Oh, you went on multiple. He doubled and tripled down in it. Oh, y'all, y'all know I'm just saying everything that y'all won't say. You know she's a fat man. Whatever. He, I, won't, I won't repeat it because yeah. I don't feel like that. But who the fuck is Aerie Spears to just wake up one day and just start putting down somebody and didn't say one word about him? You know why? Again, it's this attention, yeah. clout. Look at him, drug. But look at that him, niggas are addicted. Yeah, to. but some of these people got to shut the fuck up. No, he shut up. When I do, well, he bo- shut up now. No, when I do <laughs> boobop his ass on. You ain't see when I do boobop them. No, no. Oh man, do boobop the shit out of Eric. Who boobop them? <laughs> Le'Veon Bell. No, damn, it, it should have been. Nigga was like, yo, keep talking. I'll fuck you up. Eric Spears like, nigga, you won't do nothing. Da, da, da. They sitting at the table and he commits to poop in his ass. This is recent. A couple years back, nigga Mary Fist missed the shit out of him. Well, he's still talking. No, he ain't do it nothing. It wasn't act right. But he ain't. Yeah, it was. He's still talking. That nigga went into hiding for a while. <laughs> that nigga, he just came back out from he, under the rock. He just was going off too much about to Lizzo, who has not said a nothing word. Nothing to nobody. About, yeah. And she's not going to defend herself. She not going to do nothing. You ain't going to suffer no consequences behind what you're saying. Yeah, I don't like seeing men do that. That be this, No, some of the shit be these niggas attack certain niggas. They know who not to attack. Oh, yeah. They know who not to They fuck won't with. say certain shit about some of these niggas because they know some of these niggas, you got to see them. Say, mm. say that shit about Nikki. They'll, 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 they'll see you. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like mm. some of you these know, niggas. You know who to play with and who not yeah, to play that's with. True. Lizzo don't bother a soul. Yeah. And she's a superstar. So, again, the clout, I, I, yeah, let me say something about her. It's going to get me all of this. That's yeah. all these niggas is it's doing. Bu- it's bully shit. She's Speaking corny. Of- did the Atlanta prosecutor do anything yet while we was gone? Not that I saw. Got them niggas. <laughs> got them niggas. Ah, I got a case. <laughs> I but did, she said 60 did. days, right? She said 60 days. Nigga Young Thug in well, there. But wondering about Michael Phelps swimming well, in shit. Well, what happened? Um, <laughs> Someone went out saying that they having a hard time getting witnesses to... Uh, Cooperate. Yeah, cooperate. Yeah. Oh, so, I could have told you that. I, I could have told you that too. So I'm gonna come up with a new segment called I could have told you that. I just opened <laughs> up the I'll open up the phone just now. Pat McAfee talking about Aaron Rodgers tells us why Green Bay lost. I was like, wait a minute, I could I can tell you I can tell you that. <laughs> Offensive blood is bad, yeah, no I weapons, no, no receivers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. god damn it. Said something uh, about Dak in it. Hmm? No, nobody's, no, nobody's talking. Yeah, we got shit. sleepers, dog. <laughs> yeah. no, I don't have to go through this with, <laughs> with your fucking oh, Dak shenanigans. Who cares? Let me just make sure there's nothing else that is important that I'm forgetting here. Jake Paul, Vivian and Beyond. Oh, Black um, you said you wanted to get your jokes off about Steve Jobs' daughter. 
<laughs> that, nah, that's just funny. I just like that. I just like that the lineage is keeping the beef rolling. Like, once it's up, it's up. It don't matter that I'm dead. I still got kids. Yeah. And we going to fuck with this shit, too. Fuck that phone. Fuck that new phone. Nah, Even though nah. some people was telling me my barber came in the house last that's night. That's Yo, that's what you talking about? Are you getting a new phone? I'm telling you, that shit takes 64 picture megahertz bit camera. It's just like a whole. I'm like, yo, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. Where Instagram is now, first of all, it's in the toilet, number one. Facts. And number two, for at least five years now, you've needed like a real photographer to be on Instagram. That's true. For real. Whole photo shoot. The for whole real. Shit. Yeah, don't you dare try to post a, a, photo, uh, a, a photo you took. Yeah, nah, them, day, them days is over. Yeah. No, nah, um, new phone's out this week, but... um, That's a pass. Uh, mine is pre-ordered. I mean, I should have been here Friday. But again, I was trying to explain to people when I hear these... Like, I saw the, you know, oh, it's the same phone as last year. It's only a select few of us who are just... We we have to upgrade every year. Everybody... They, we the, have to. The, yeah, we have to. <laughs> um, Apple products are not made for that. It's not made for you to go and buy the new one every year. The shit's is made the. It's people that skipped the 12 and the 13. They have an 11 or a 10S. Yeah, this 14 is something you should cop. And if you have a 13, you probably can wait until they rechange the entire phone next year. That's why I be trying to tell everybody that you ain't. I do that. I buy the new watch, the new phone every single year. You don't have to do that. It's not. The, the, the differences aren't that substantial to say, oh, shit. Oh, they just put this in here. All they're going to do is upgrade the camera, give you two or three little tweaky features, and that's it. And this is coming from an Apple person. Like, it's the same it's a little spice on it. Are they bringing the uh, mini back or that's dead? No, nah, that's dead. It's four phones. It's a 14, 14 plus, which is the same size as the Pro Max, and then the Pro and the Pro Max. I want to buy a mini. It's over for them little ass phones. I, so I got the big ass watch. It have made the watch bigger. That I can see. That's all right. 40, 49 millimeter now. Y'all done? I don't want you to say that I'm hating on you. No, no, God, we shit. done. We done. <laughs> they get excited over this shit. Got 49 millimeter. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, oh, still back there screaming, <laughs> screaming on the side. Nah, you got that was. <laughs> Listen, but I I like the pop ups for that though. This is that's, that's great. Yeah. I Amazing. love a random impromptu. Amazing. No publicist. Yes, none yeah. of that. Yeah, we in the hood. Pop up. Mm-hmm. That's that's number one. Number two, Erickson. I know you keep trying to keep the shot clear of the balcony. I already told Ice. At some point, there will be a live studio audience of women <laughs> back walking no, back. Yo, y'all laughing? I'm not, I hear. I, I hear. Why are they laughing? I, I hear them laughing. <laughs> we already. <laughs> yeah. We are gonna get some. It's in the name of content, of course. Yeah, just, just content. Just content. You know what I mean? It's only content. Only content. That's it. Some nice. Yeah, I don't even know her. That's it. It's like yeah, it's gonna a heavyweight good. fight. <laughs> Just <laughs> walking through with the sun. Yeah. And a nice pair oh, okay. hills on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, objectify yeah, them. <laughs> let's objectify them. He went right to the feet. Nice pair of hills. No, he said in the name of content. Though. Let's, no, let let's him not walk. objectify them. Let's though. let him walk by with a sign of our next segment. I like that. Listen, man. Keep us in. Well, before I got. So how do we feel? How, oh, what, did, what did we think? Feel great. I think I was, I was a little too comfortable in this seat. <laughs> Once I get my 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 my, posi- my comfort position, your down swag outside. right. Yeah, yeah. Once yeah. you get your sauce together, yeah, you know, you'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'm way that, more comfortable. That yellow chair on the low is the comfy one. That shit look. That's the one. This is nice. I want one of them for the crib. No, it's a nice little. That chair. shit look all right. Do Erickson? Did we use our parks cam this episode? All right. Oh. Hey. Hey guys! <laughs> Look, Yo, keep us in. Foot start shaking fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you start, you start playing with that beard like this, drinking some water and shit. Don't laugh too hard. We got a young boys cam now Fact. too back yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, we got cameras now. Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there until the next time. We bid you adieu, farewell, adios, arriva derci, hasta la vista, au revoir. Remember. Life is a series of moments, and moments last, so let's make this one last. 
as if it's all we have. And let me hit the round of applause just for waking up with a different bop, being in Jersey, hitting the driver, saying, yo, you, you chill with your family today. Huh? Aren't you until a- later. <laughs> until to- you ain't off. Until dog. tonight now. And that's that, man. Fans, we love you. We appreciate you. Shout out to the Patronis, wherever you might be listening from. Spotify, Apple, SoundCloud, Google, all platforms everywhere. Hey! Guess what? Hey. I'm already on. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, ah, uh, no, ah, uh, 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 ah, uh